Hello, hello. We're back again with more Dragon's Dogma, and I did play, uh... <laughs> I played a lot in the interim. That was last night. I haven't played anything today, but... Load from last save. Right, we only get one save unless we're willing to pay money. And, uh, I ain't. No webcam today. I am, I am unpresentable. I'm unpresentable. Hmm. Be it me, or does this almost run a little bit better? Not on stream, it doesn't. <laughs> Not until we get out of town. I capitulated to my inner desires to have a goon squad. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I don't know that I really so need it anymore. I am going to turn down their voices. Because, goddamn... On voices specifically. Now, I've been basically just 100% just dicking around. Also, Thief is fucking great. I love playing Thief. I initially was kind of underwhelmed because outside of, you know, cutting wind, which is, you know, gotta go fast and all that. That was not what I wanted to do. Bam! But between the bombs and the stabbing of the weak points, dude, it is... Fucking killer is what it is. All right, so we got some other shit that we need to do. Seat of the Sovereign. Also, I did my first timed quest, and I failed. Because the game didn't actually tell me where to go. It gave me very, very poor directions. Hey, what, what, what are you going to do? Sven. We can hunt for the Jadeite Orb. We also just need money in general. I got 30 grand. And in case you do not know, there is the Checkpoint Town, which I would suggest getting there via an ox cart, because it is way the fuck over here. Checkpoint Rest Town. And you can buy some high-end, surprisingly high-end equipment from that place. Also, there's plenty of shit to go around and kill. And in fact, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I've been trying to connect some of these pathways all the way up. Especially before I put down, you know what I am going to do though? I did, in fact, find a fucking port crystal. Where is it? Where would that do? Use. With the port crystal placed, we'll be able to use a fairy stone. Bam, to turn son. In an port crystal. It's my first one that I actually put down. And we got fairy stones. I'm going to do it up. Sure is, lady. Tell is, Vermin was also, once the Eastern Kingdom. You know what's really irritating? True. Indeed. Though does not pick, widely pick up the thing. The folk. Unfortunately, this is too big. I figured out how to open these. Or rather, I think I know how to open these. We can't break it from this really? side. Now? But I bet we could shoot an arrow through there and break it. The problem is this is too big. It's, like, just too big. Damn it. But I could easily shoot an arrow into that shit. Or if I could find something to throw. What about these? Maybe those little things? Will they let me actually pick that up? This is still just going to be too big. I wish I could throw one of my pawns in there. Yeah, there's not. There's no way for me to get it in there. Son of a bitch. Why have they locked me out? Yeah, and all those things are way too small. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure I ain't got any items that I could use to bust through that. That sucks. Gotta come back here with somebody who's got arrows. In the meantime, it is time for slaying. We're already kind of at the thinking? point. Our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. I mean, not really. Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. I say we forge on together for as long as we may. Goblins, master! You understand how fucking fast I am? <laughs> 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 
like a storm of fucking death. And that made me realize that I need to turn down <laughs> the global volume again. Or really just hmm, sound effect volume. Because like menu and the general voices are okay. This game's got serious sound issues. Not in terms of they don't play, just... What the? Stop hurting him! Dude, what the hell? It's still super fucking loud. I literally just turned it down. It's like the first couple of notches just legitimately don't fucking do anything. It's actually kind of irritating. Finish yeah, did not that did not change the volume at all. Unless those don't count as sound effects, which doesn't make any sense. There are, are some definitely weird things about this game. They do Hey George, how's it going, man? I, they gotta get these sound issues worked out. Maybe hmm. Dynamic range small. As long as the match is surrounding certain can be changed from the options section of the title. The title? What? That doesn't make any sense. Why should I only be able to change this from the title? That maybe tells me that they're doing something they shouldn't be doing <laughs> behind the scenes. They're doing something stupid. Also, harpies suck. I hate fighting harpies. Also, it's about to be... Fuck. It's about to be night. And I have learned. Oh, how I have learned. Enough. Don't travel at night. Hey, look. A single goblin. Nothing personnel, kid. Well Alright, we're good. Still feels Preacher's loud. Talons are useless while it's pinned. Pray, make full use of this opportunity. What are you guys talking it? about? Hey, there it is. Hey, mage, shoot it down. Or one of you hit it. No. Don't heal. Why did she put up the heal? That doesn't make any sense. You must wait. There you go. No harm shall come to you. Now I got a vocation rank up. Nice. All right, but we got to make camp. I will say I like the camping system. It is really easy to get trapped. And when I was playing the game just by myself, I found myself very often, if you let your health get low enough, Good morrow, everyone. you usually have to clear Come. out a camp before you can Much use it. Which means on? if you don't have any health, you just don't have a good way to regain health. And if you don't have the money to actually spend in towns, you end up just kind of fucked. It's really... Like, I understand what they're going for with the depreciating health. But I... I, I don't know. I don't know if it was integrated... In instantiated in a good way. If anything, it just becomes kind of irritating sometimes. Where's then I shall remain by your side. Also, the pawns are still pretty stupid. They don't generally do the shit that you actually want them to do. Friends! Are you an enemy? Hey. Now then. There are enemies. Yeah, nah, brah. You want my attention? You got it. Ah, what the? Where do you think you're going, Chief? I think he's dead. There we go. Easy peasy. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. You sure did, kid. You can kid. count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, uh, This is one Knowing of the most specialty. irritating things about this fucking game. 
I did not talk to that pawn. I didn't hit any buttons at all. It just decided that since I was... Quests work this way, too. If you just happen to be close enough to an NPC, they will initiate dialogue with you and it will lock you in place. That is legitimately one of the dumbest decisions I've seen in a video game ever. Why would you do that? That is legitimately just stupid. Like, normally, you know, I have a good laugh about something, but that is... I cannot explain how much I don't want that to happen. Hey, look, a friend! What up, Chief? Going for a ride, baby! Stop your wiggling, you dick! Ah, we're getting off. Come on, let go! Well... Cool. Very cool game. I spammed letting go and trying to actually get off of him, and uh, it just didn't. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. Very earned and very deserved death. And it wasn't because I was out of stamina either. There's a little bit of uh, chicanery with the game. That doesn't always work. This battle ought to be in our favor. We must not put down our guard. But you're bitching. No, no, no. Do not want to be on there. Don't want to be on one of his arms. Let's not fight him in that uneven terrain. Hey, idiots. Why are they just standing there? Why is he just standing there? Is he stuck? Where the fuck did you come from? One of our numbers are conscious. Wow, you guys are really bad at this. Well done. Get fucked. Oh, he's best. He's best. Put the bomb on him. Uh-oh. A moment of indecision may spell our doom. Really? Now? Man. Calm down. Calm your tits. The bomb. Stab him in the head. Tapped in the face. <laughs> no, my stamina. Hold on, I'll be with you in a second, troll boy. Ogre, whatever the hell you are. Well, he wants. Is it running? It's trying to fucking run. Yeah, nice try, chief. I'm going to stab you in the face, dude. One behind the back special. <laughs> also, it seems like Beat gives a lot of strength boosts, which is kind of nice. 
Also, that's how you kill the troll. Or ogre, whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. Oh, is that guy dead? He's dead. Never mind. Dare I say it? We trounced our wrong button. Well, yes, master. I shall hasten to your heal life. me, slave. I mean, fawn. I mean, palico. I do like how much faster the healing actually is. I'm just trying to. <laughs> all I'm really trying to do is make my way back up so we have a connecting road line. Mostly just so I'm familiar with the map. I'm trying not to count on... The game telling me where to go all the time. Yeah, get it! <laughs> talents are useless while it's pinned. Pray, make full use of this opportunity to fell it. Hmm. Do I stray off the path? Is called for when crossing any bridge, or regardless not? Of its Ooh. Who can say what awaits us on the other side? Friends. Is that it? Just you two yahoos. Thanks for the drink. Ooh, what equipment we got at our disposal. Stilettos. Isn't that what I have on? No, no, I bought these earlier. Back that is here. one of the things that does kind of suck about... Oh, hello, Where friend. Where do you think you're going, eh? Where do you think you're going? Back here. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, eh? Get back here. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, eh? <laughs> Way to suck. Can I not just walk up here? Thank you. To answer your question, I'm going where I damn well please. Bird Greaves. Well, we're also at level... Ooh, I can wear these, and they are gaudy as shit. They look fucking terrible. We could, all, we could wear some delightful hunter's tights. I mean, look at those stats. Those stats don't lie, man. We could show off our, our excellent gams. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with fashion. Come on, don't drag this out. Who's dragging what out? What? Lost your nerve, have you? What's happening? I oh, hello. We can but defend ourselves. Oh, you're an enemy. Ah! <laughs> Are we good? Is everybody dead? May I loot their worthless you can count bodies? Me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Shadow Heart. to use curatives is my specialty. It's <laughs> defeat Minotaur. It's a pawn quest. How much? Uh, how many rune thingies do you cost? Sure, we're gonna roll. With, we'll roll with Shadow Heart. Select a pawn to swap out. I kind of don't give a shit about the fighter, if I'm being perfectly honest. Level 12, anyway. You're garbage. Cancel the gift. Yes. You get nothing. At least I go, knowing I fought to the best of my ability. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not... But seriously... I really wish this game would stop fucking interrupting me all the time. Uh, were they hiding down here? I mean, that is one of the most obvious secrets that I've ever seen in my life. Oh, well spotted. Thirty-six hundred. Most impressive. Not bad. Such a thing escapes my master's notice entirely. Ah, I'm better than him. I am your new master. All right, now let's get out of this cramped dump hole. 
Also, Minotaurs are re relatively fun Find to fight. I hope we actually do run into another one. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Normally, there are Minotaurs just kind of traveling the roads. They're not too bad to fight. Basically, like most things, their head and their face is their weak point. Knocking them over is pretty difficult. It's just what you'd expect out of a bovine creature, you know? Also, while I'm thinking about it, we should ditch some of our shit on Kitsu. Because it doesn't really matter if she's fast. There we go. We need to remain as fast as possible. Friends! Okay, apparently Shadowheart has access to a bunch of bufferies. Which I kind of... Eventually, I'm going to turn Kitsu into an Archmage, and she's just going to be pure auxiliary forms of damage. Oh. God, I love being able to do that. Would anyone care to push? What boulder? Of what boulder do you refer? They're a lot more proactive with the buffs. Which I like. Calling request. Oh! Was I doing something? My deepest thanks. That is the least I can offer. <laughs> we just get free money. All right, I'll take it. 2,500. So eventually, once I get enough scratch together, I'm going to make my way back out. To what was it? The checkpoint rest stop? Because after this, I'm going to be rolling into warrior. Once I get to level 10. In this vocation. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Which I'm looking forward to. But I'd like to have the gear, you know, ready to go and all that. Friends! What what's happening? Oh fuck! I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. Let's get the fuck out the way, the giant boulder. Good job, men. And one I will I will say I'm gonna miss being able to do that. The only problem with that ability is it's pretty much useless against bigger enemies. I grant you more in flame. Damn it! Wake me up, wake me up inside. Please wake me up before you go, go. I light you all on fire. Ah! There's nothing so satisfying as finally stabbing one of these bastards when they're down. I think you got it. Yeah, you got it. I also need to find more poison harpies. We have to constantly fight shit too. Everything is just constantly in our fucking way. I want to fight the biggins. More big monsters, please. Also, where am I even going? Hey! We finally almost gone full circle. Uh, 
got to say, I'm digging this environment. I do wish the game was a lot better optimized. I mean, obviously. Because it looked kind of washed out. Remember me? It just looked washed out on my screen. Yo, what up, THC? How's it going, man? How are you enjoying your DD2 experience? Ooh, hello, friends. Yeah, no cam today. <laughs> Wasn't feeling it. Got him. Ah Are those mines? Yes. No, they're not mines. They're explosive barrels. But, uh, Thief. Thief is a fantastic class. Let me tell you what. Are we still fighting? We need to so far. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Is something still alive? More friends! Is there still an enemy? If there's an enemy here, I don't see him. Okay, well, I'm going to keep on keeping on. If an enemy wants to make themselves... Ooh. Mine, 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 mine. Sweet, delicious carry capacity. I need more of it. Playing Archer, a sad Archer and Thief aren't combined to make Ranger anymore. There might be... Other things you can unlock? Maybe. I don't know exactly how it's going to work out. I do miss having a bow. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer God, thrills. You know what? I, I, I can't get over how, how bad a decision that is. Like I do like the game. I really do like the game so far. Microtransactions and optimization up. and all that shit needed. aside. Whose brain dead idea in development was it to make it so that N so NPCs can just talk to you and completely interrupt you? Because that was a stupid idea. No! I've been nap napped. Currently dealing with the first ogre and going through the watch head, although I defeated my first ogre when he rescued that guy's brother from the walls. Wow. You got hit with an ogre pretty early. <laughs> I have killed a great many things. One of us has been drenched. Though I've basically completely stopped with the quests right now. I'm still on Seat of the Sovereign. I still haven't talked to Brant in the inn again. I've just been dicking around everywhere. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Ogres in the woods right past where you rescue him. Yeah, I think I went I think I went back immediately. Now, when you say ogre or cyclops, we'll have to get up there and drop it down. is it the... Because cyclops are... Ogres are quite a bit tougher than cyclops. Like old lady's house where her granddaughter wants to learn magic. Yeah, I haven't been there. Cyclops, my bad. Yeah. Ogres are tougher customers. Hey! I wanted to find one of you bastards. Let's have some fun.
<laughs> Stab it! Stab it all! <laughs> I always nuke my stamina though. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, I'm not ready for the drop kick. Dude, I have seen him yeet himself into un like oblivion with that drop kick. It is insane. He can travel distance. Oh man, I don't have anything to recover stamina. Oh wait, I do. There we go. That ox cart is really cramping my style, man. Get poisoned, motherfucker. Nice try. Woo! Get stabbed. <laughs> 10,000 G's is mine. I really, man, I need more stamina. You know, actually, you know what's going to be really nice? One of the top thief things is, in fact, it's going to cost less stamina to do shit. Doesn't okay, doing. that fucking just got nuked. Wonder if Drake's dragging for it still. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting learning how to fight them. Wolves and Saurians. Yeah, gimme give gimme give the fire. Zoom zoom zoom, motherfucker! Oh, he's got me! Also, in case you didn't know, uh, when you stagger an enemy, like, it's a good example. He's gonna die too quickly. When you knock an enemy so they start stumbling, if you use your heavy attack, at least with the thief, you'll do a uh, basically a killing blow, like a finishing blow. They don't need to always just be on the ground. The game does not tell you that. That's something I figured out as as I've kept playing. Make camp. Also, make camp all the time. I'm sure you figured that out by now. Like as long as you have a tent. Hey, what finishing blow? Still dealing with harpies. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. If you Come, stagger an enemy, to be getting on with. Ready to like smaller on. enemies I'm talking about, like where they are, get like knocked back and they kind of stumble, if you hit a heavy attack, you will do a finishing blow type of deal. It's a similar experience to when they are like on the ground and you use a heavy attack. Additionally, uh, jumping heavy attacks too also do it. So if you got like a harpy on the ground and you do this, you'll do a finishing move and it'll pretty much guarantee guarantee kill them. But against like saurians, even if you if you knock them back and stagger them, you can use a heavy attack and you'll do that. It's actually one of the better ways to kill saurians when you're lower level. Is you chop off their tail to stagger them and then you hit the heavy attack and you'll do a finishing move that basically kills them instantly. The problem is, it's really difficult for me to show it now because everything dies so fucking quick. <laughs> you dick! Avoid flame at any cost of the gym. Can't see. <laughs> Can't see. Here's what I'm trying out there, but I think I'm gonna go with fighter archer and telling like mystic spear hand. I'm going with this until I get it to level 10, and then it's warrior time. 
I think I'm at level 7 in the vocation right now. Particularly uh, at the end of Thief. Just yonder looks you get spot for harvesting a... a uh, no what the fuck is it called? You. A strength augmenting. Augment. Which is just raw increases your strength. Which is, you know, insane. It's strange that they put that in Thief. Instead of Fighter, like it was before. Fighter or Warrior. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. You must not why, did, why did I get knocked down? He's got me! How the fuck do I get out of health? What the fuck? I hate when they grab me. He was taking me off somewhere like I was just a bone to chew on. The fuck, man? <laughs> oh, this fucking game. Gotta say, I do like wandering around. I do wish... Strangely enough, I wish the monster density wasn't so high. I want you boring Cause it feels like I can't run into fucking anything. Taste it, scrub! At least I can count on my mages to kill those now. I'm still working on what's the kind of ideal party comp. I like having a mage at my disposal, particularly a damage mage. Mostly because I just... I don't know, I don't like playing magic users in this game. Dragon's Dogma either. I tried it once and I just didn't like it. Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I want to Bitches be hot. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> yeah, no. He just did it right there. That was a finishing blow. Did it again. But it's really handy. It'll probably be more helpful against... It, it is a lot more helpful when you're lower level. Just straight up. Just dead ass. Alright, so we can go over there. I think I want to stop in the border watch outpost. I'll gather this. It might be of use. It sure will, buddy. Yeah, I remember being around these parts. Been a hot minute, though. Oh, and I guess we're considered to be... Hmm. We were considered to be inside of town there. Ooh, maybe I can spend some vocation points. The North Vermund checkpoint. Also, if you want to know where to get... Good early game equipment, even though it's really, really expensive. Go. Okay, so here, here's Vernworth. Right here. If you go all the way west to the checkpoint rest town, which sometimes you can get lucky, and you'll run into an ox cart that'll take you there. The Checkpoint Rest Town has a shitload of early game, like, really, really powerful. Way more powerful than the basic stuff. The problem is it, it costs, like, like the weapons, it's like 27,000 gold. But yeah, Checkpoint Rest Town. Here's Vernworth. Basically just head dead west. I got there via ox cart. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons this. and armor. If I want to do a quest, just have a thing above the dude's head or something. Let me overhear it, but do not fucking Dad, stop me. I sent Marcus to gather what we'll say you. Could have chopped. Glad to hear it. Sure. He ought to be somewhere north. And in the note, and he'll take care of the. I really hate that it interrupts me to do shit. All right, so where can I do the vocation thing here? 
I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you like Vocation to Guild, location. and we can deposit shit, which I will be. I need to start collecting. Hmm. I gotta start collecting things that are gonna up my stamina again because I'm quite low on it. Ditch a thing of lantern oil. Savagery extract. Fairy stones don't weigh that much. Harpy pinions. Oh. I guess that restores it too. If there's silence, I don't care about that. Unconscious debilitation. And detoxifying, hard spud roberance. The scrags of beast I always just toss away because they're not worth it. Ripened apple. I should probably not just shove this shit in the bank for it to rot. But it's the quickest way to get it out of my inventory. I also got to look into upgrading her stuff. I'm surprised gold isn't easy to come by in this game. Would get like 10k or 1k in the early chess in DD1. Yeah. Whereas you need to... You got to scrounge around. You actually got to do jobs. And uh, like you can also sell some of the arms and equipment that you get. I just would almost never suggest that. Just in case you want to, you know, do something with it later. Money is a I'll river, thankfully. Vacation Gill, what, what you got for me, Chief? I have 7,000 discipline points. Ensnare, implicate. Advanced room that allows a play the user with greater force. Easy kill. Darts behind the target after parrying their attack. And slits their throat. That is the full on nothing personnel, kid. That is the full on. The problem is like, I, I want to keep gut and run. But you can parry shit. Okay, so right now I don't need ignited blades if I'm going to have Shadow Heart in the party. So, hmm. The problem is fire is so nice to have access to all the time, but I do want to get, cause I am going to make a video on the thief. So it would probably be helpful to learn all of their veritas numeratus things. Also, do I have anything that poise? Sure. Why not? Equip poise. And when struggling in a foe's grip. The problem is, if I... Does that mean when they're actually holding me? When they're holding me and I'm not just holding on to them? Because whenever I've been grabbed by an enemy, I couldn't, like, struggle or anything out of it. It didn't hurt my stamina. But let's grab easy kill. Whip, easy kill, absolutely. I really like having Powder Blast on, particularly for big monsters. That shit is hilarious. Because it lets you do a, like a one-two with gut and run. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off Ignite. We're going to see how this works out. Do come again. I will come again. All right, so I guess we head north. All right, so how does this work? Okay, that's not that one. So it is just that. We just parry with this. Plus a lot of stamina. Now here's the million dollar question. Does it work against larger opponents? Because if it works against larger opponents and it, like, gets us on their back, that's going to be fucking OP as hell. Come on. Stab me. Fine. <laughs> 
that's not the button I wanted to hit. Also, Saurians, super weak to poison. That was well fought. Like, obnoxiously There's weak no against poison. Might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Like, they just straight up die when they get afflicted with poison. Hey, what up, Chief? Assembled. A job well done if I do say so myself. Well, you need to get more shit. Oi, did you need something? This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Fine. He wants these as well, does he? Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth and make haste. I would depart for the encampment even uh, a moment. Well, of course. Go on. Let us commence our search without delay. Where to first? Alternatively, how about I kill you? Procure some harspuds and salubrious droughts. Drafts. Then I already have that. I'm pretty sure I already have that. The only one I'm not sure that I have is the Harspuds. But I'm not really sure where I can just go and grab those. Oh boy, grapes. Morning tide. I actually do like I never combine in my inventory ever. I combine using the large repository I have just sitting in my item storage. Small plants. I think I remember what they look like. I just don't remember where they are. But I also might just have them in my inventory already, so I'm just going to go back. There's like real small bushes. I do not have it. Alright. Where's some odd spuds? Hey, there we go. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure. How many do, does he actually want? Three hard spuds and two sal salubrious, 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 salubrious. We'll find a purpose for it in due time. Now, can it be any hard spuds, or does it have to be specifically ones that are called hard spuds, and I can't grab the princess ones? Despite the fact that the princess ones are actually better. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Okay. Let's go get it. Or are you just going to point? You know, I'm pretty sure I already got whatever treasure chest you're pointing at, but... Is it somewhere down there? With all the gabos and such? Oh fuck it, let's just Freshly kill him. Rested as we are. This battle ought to be in our favor. Must not let down our I grant you fire's blade. Use it well. I ain't seen no chest girl. Hey, there it is. She didn't even lie to me. From what I can tell, hard spuds are potatoes. Like, right? If you look at what they look like in your inventory, they look like potatoes. And, of course, it's got spud in the name. I want to fight more big monsters. Also, I've killed a couple of griffins already. Those are fun fights. Fighting griffins is fun as hell. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. Wait, do I have to go up and talk to him first? I gotta go and I gotta deliver it to the delivery boy instead of just delivering it. He's gonna get credit for our hard work. What a dick bag. This doesn't make any sense. We were just in the camp. 
whatever. Video games. Video games. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Yes. That is a weird way to do that. Brilliant. I knew I could count on you. Bastard. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Oh boy, waking our powder. Are awaited. What say we make our report? Geoffrey. So I keep on forgetting to grab Sarnian Tails. Mostly because after a while I just stop gathering from certain enemies. Withered branches. Oh, I'll take that. Another potato. We might find a use for it. But I think it's about time for me to start heading back out to the checkpoint so I can buy warrior gear. Because what? Where am I at vocation wise? Yeah, I only have two levels left. The next one is at th in 3000. So if it's like the previous game, vocations go up to rank. Rank nine. So I want to be ready. I'm excited to get into Warrior. As I hear it, you even assist anyway. You've been a great. You got for me. Oh boy! Nine hundred gold and four hundred experience. Well said. I mean, shit, dog. My cup, my proverbial cup runneth over. I am a rich bitch now. Fucking, that was a waste of time. The all night books. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is. Are there, are there other ways that I can actually take to get there? Uh, eh, not really. There's Melv. We could take a trip down to Melv, but that doesn't really help us all that much. I think... Yeah, I think I'm just going to port Crystal back to Vernworth. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Or he's more interesting than the previous so far. Ooh, political subterfuge. We've Use the fairy stone. What's our Hooray! Best business arisen? I got an achievement. As if I even give even the most, the tiniest shits about achievements. Also, I should do this beggar, a beggar's tale thing. We gotta follow around this dick bag, which means he's gonna be sitting around. But I get the feeling he's gonna be the thief meister. Because we're supposed to find out how he's making his coin. And that just tells me that he's a thief. I've just recalled the little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell is, there's been a shift in the chain of command. Like, I do want to get to story stuff, and I should probably get to it pretty soon. <laughs> I'm just kind of having fun dicking around. But if I can find the th the thief meister, that means I'll have access to whatever the top ability that they have is. On shaking legs, did he approach the better to know? Yet he did not get near, for afore him stretched the sea. The figure was striding through waters up to the knee. This realization explained the bazaar. What had appeared close was being seen from afar. Just got to Vernworth, spoke to the black guy, learned what's going on. Was you mean that straight up based dude blinded, who immediately drops the pretense when you get in? He's like, I'm One sorry, sir, certain, but we must be careful with all this stuff. Land, and he'd be like, no city, I can't no I can't remember what his name is, but he is like 
He's the dude, man. So he challenged this ingress with voice loudly drawn. And in an instant, the giant was gone. I, in the face of his valor, the gigantus did pale. But who among you can Absolute Chad, that's his name. Hell yeah. Twas none other than Lord Rosamond. Wait, the Archer Meister? It is his name Absolute Chad? <laughs> or are you talking about the other guy? <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. Ah, yes. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah. He is, he is. This looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. This is who I'm supposed to be following, I'm pretty sure. I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. But it's clear this story... So where does he get his coin, then? They're gonna, like, back off or something? This looks as good a place as I'm not really sure, because I listened to his whole story. Watch the beggar as he goes about his day, see if you can't find out how he makes his coin. So do I just fucking hang out here? That sucks. I really don't want to fucking do that. Like, I can't just get him to get a fucking move on. I listened to his stupid fucking story. Hey, what up, Sven? Ferret, would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say it. Do you know, I had a feeling... Say, you're not... How I longed. She's always telling me how dangerous Blarty Blar truly is so perilous. What if it seems unfair that I alone should be shot? In case he has ten, ten fold shot, but is that the shotgun one? On. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot my apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. Sven's enacting the Buddha. We'll each other anon. He sees the hardships out in the world, and he wishes to uh, take part in them so he can help the people. Like, this has got to be the, the Thief Maester. I just don't know how to fucking get him moving. Gather round, gather round. I gave him money. Hey, stupid. And should my story entertain you? Move, motherfucker, move. I appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Uh, where's the now, bench? Listen close, and your focus apply to this tale of a giant who touches the sky. I would have thought if I just stuck around and I listened to his stupid, like the rapid fire shot shotgun spurt of the first game was eleven fold or some shit. I thought if I listened to his story, he'd eventually, you know, carry on and all that. Why there, friend? Good, Can fucking God, no. I, man, I've said it like five times already. I fucking hate this. Whoever made this decision needs to step forward and <laughs> fucking God damn it. Let us all, he needs a, a public caning, a public caning, I say. Hey, you know, it'd be cool is if you're wandering around towns and stuff and NPCs could interrupt you and take control away from you to do their quests. All I ask is that you hear my request. My thanks, sir. Fucking idiot. Just, I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters. Only trouble is, Verus, that's where you come in. See, I've got a... I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and seat splendid. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. Each car traveled to anyone thinking of part enough of my lick. Oh, and I'll pay so this your is fare the... this time. See, come find me when you deliver. This is the cart time. tutorial. I'll be waiting to hear from you. The ox you cart tutorial. The recipient waiting. That, this is exactly what it is. This is the cart tutorial. And it's timed. Cool. So we got to do it now. We got interrupted, and we got to do it now. Despite all my rage, I am still just Nicholas Cage. 
Fine. Are we gonna are we gonna get rolling? Fucking cards, man. It's a Hyogre. That is what I said, THC. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Where's he going? I'm gonna stab you in the head, dude. of that. Wrecked. Also, that bomb makes for some serious cinematic moments. And, of course, the cart got fucking destroyed. And where? <laughs> Look at them over there. Off oh, fighting. So where the fuck is Melv? Dude, Melv is all the way up here. We barely got out of the fucking gate, bro. Uh, this way. We're huffing it. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. It's a shortcut. Nah, not really. Sun has yet to set. We could rest here now, or press on a while longer. What a precast with it going on, man. Victory shall soon be ours. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. We're just doing it up the only way Weez Two knows minutes. how. Oh, everything's going fantastic here. Aside from some very, very questionable design decisions, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a pretty goddamn fun game. I'm already formulating. I think I am going to do a thief guide. But I also, I think I want to try and beat the game solo style at some point. You guys, uh, you guys good down here? Can you handle that single goblin that I left that you with? Superb, or is it? Ooh, well, hello here. It's so easy to get distracted when you're on these time-based quests. I want to go off and I want to do my own thing. But I got a letter to deliver. 
Tis a ballista arisen. This no. could grant us an edge in battle. Sweetie, this is a chest. <laughs> Up there's a ballista. <laughs> you dumb. Oh, pawns. Dumb as a bag of Mississippi mud. Ho ho ho! Ah, oh, they're too close. Ow! God damn it. Would they. Would they get up here or what? Are you fucking kidding me? Get up here, you morons. And I'm asleep. Dude, the pawns are still just as stupid. Yeah, I can't hear you guys. I am literally asleep. Mississippi ain't bad. Hey, I didn't want to climb up here, but that that's fine. Mississippi ain't bad. It's just a saying that I heard at some time. I want to shoot something with this fucking ballista. Arkansas. It's weird that you can't change the direction of the ballista to go down until you've drawn it enough. Bunch of cousin fuckers. Yeah, yeah, the whole incest. Why go down the street when you can go down the hall and all that? Dude, I, like, cannot shift this. This is so slow. How was I able to shift the one other one? There we go. Now I can shift it down. I spy with my little eye. I chest. I want it. But first, I must fire the bolt. The mighty bolt. Ours will be the ballista that pierces the heavens. I saw another chest before the draw distance made it disappear. Funny, because I've heard said about Idaho living in Washington. It seems every state says that about a neighboring state. Yeah. All the states talk shit about each other. Loose! Okay, so how do I, hmm. So from, it is northwest from here. I want that chest, and I'm gonna get it. But I think that's just the, the nature of the US. Because I've lived in both Wisconsin and Illinois, and they talk, both talk mad shit about each other, like all the fucking time. Okay, so it should be this away. Also, Rift Crystal. Sick. Sick nasty. Some said draws near. We shall have to rely on our other senses as the darkness robs us of our sight. Yeah, I'm just gonna re How the fuck do I get up there? It looks so simple when I was up on high. <laughs> Damn it. If I could get one of them to just Hey, you, useless. Do that thing where you launch me into the sky. I could totally make it, man. Fuck. I hope I don't fail this because I'm resting. I just don't want to travel at night. Also, quick tip. You can just have your pawn carry your, uh, your camping supplies. Texas constantly shits on alcohol. You <laughs> know, they're basically one and the same. Tomorrow, everyone. Come. We've much to be getting on. How with. the fuck do you We're get up there? Ready to forge on? Whatever. We gotta go. We gotta go to Melv. I don't really want to go to Melv. A ballista is a ranged weapon. Yeah. It's not how we use this, but when that counts. We. I imagined would be most beneficial in combat. Hell is this? Is this another rift crystal? 
There's a rift crystal just up there. Florida and Georgia. I haven't lived in enough places. I would have. I am just gonna straight up ignore these fools. Otherwise, I'm gonna be at this. What the? I guess there was a uh, calling request. So soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Let's we move it along. Let's keep on a rolling. Oregon and Washington. Oregon, you mean those fuckers that didn't know how to pump their own gas? That's the only thing I know about Oregon. Don't make me keep spamming the button. Keep on a moving. Moving and a grooving. Step Louisiana. We need to put a wall around that state. What the hell? Ah! Let my magic go through the elemental room. No, I don't want to take a nap. Do you imagine having a dude pump your gas? One of our number is unconscious. Huzzah! I've been to Oregon. I fucking hated it. It's just like, it's such an easy thing. I don't know why you would struggle with pumping your own gas. It's a plug and play. Because you have to let them. Yeah. That's what I heard. And people were... Now, obviously, the, the nuttiest shit is what floated to the top. But it's like people would be like, I can't be expected to, to to pump my own gas. It's gas. Gas is dirty and gross. But like, it's yeah, if you get it on you, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I've been putting gas in cars for well over 20 years at this point because my parents would make me do it for them. And I have never spilled once. Not a single time. Also, where am I going? Dude, the trip to Melv sucks donkey dick. No, stay away. Me drinking castle, siphoning cars. Yeah, back back in my day, we did we didn't have water. We we drank gas and we, we liked it that way. I don't think Ketsu's having a good time. God damn it. She fell asleep. Fucking twinkle toes. Tell the gas to start doing a 5k. I'm changing your own car. <laughs> Out me way. Dude. Whoever is supposed to be running these roads. Like keeping them safe. Is doing a terrible job. Where are my medieval tax monies going towards? If not road defense. Like, right? Now, these motherfuckers are straight up taking your tax dollars. Because they're not hiring the men required to keep these roads safe. We'll pull through yet. The drinking aquarium water on accident? How do you drink a carrier or gas on accident? <laughs> oh, it's siphoning. God, duh. Yeah, ignore me. I completely forgot about siphoning for a second. <laughs> I've never tasted I've never tasted aquarium water. And I've tasted, like, the dregs of gasoline, but I've never, like, actually tasted it, tasted it. Huzzah! No! Are they able to change their oil? Because how simple that is, it's still more complicated than pumping gas. Yeah, or even, like, changing your tire. Diesel down gas? Oh, yeah. Untapped market precast. We need gas flavored drinks. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. Give me some gas flavored drinks. 
Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting. Like even leaves. changing your tire no is slightly more one. complicated. But we can't reach it from here. Then we'll pump it. Then are are you allowed down. to do that? If you could change a tire, you can fucking pump gas. Like, I have no idea how that started in Oregon. Did, did he just drop this? I'll gather this. It might be of use. This dude just dropped a minotaur horn Freshly casually. Are, the man <laughs> not entitled to the gas in his car. Get fucked. No! Bad song. They're touching me in my insides, my eardrums. No like. <laughs> Am I... <sighs> Alright. <laughs> that is a terrible sprint, like, tired noise. That does not sound like I'm out of breath. That sounds like something sti somebody sticking something up my ass. <laughs> Come to think of it, our ranks have like gone legit because it now. sounds forced. As a result, we move as one. When you are trying to catch your breath, you don't force the breath out. Like <sighs> that type of sound, not <sighs> Those are different noises. <laughs> somebody somebody inform the voice actors. This ox cart's bound for Mel. Thank God. I'll you anywhere till I've had my due. Let's go. Let's roll, homie. Clipped. <laughs> God damn it. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> I don't have a say in the matter. Uh, suddenly, I'm very glad I chose not to be on camera today. <laughs> Plausible deniability. It wasn't me. It was just a guy who sounds exactly like me. <sighs> right. You know what I just remembered? There's a thing around here. There's a dude who sells a strength ring. <laughs> I'm not making the noise again. You got me. You got me gun shy. <laughs> Also, I'm supposed to find the person. What, what, what's happening here? Octar Courier to see Margaret's letter to its recipient. So I need to find a Margaret around here somewhere. I, what can I do for you? Oh, address to Sir Leonard penned by. Okay, cool. We found him. Ah, a letter from Lady. M She's a kindly sort, I must say. We We'd best report back. I did it. Nah, just kidding. It was hilarious. Like, I'm not wrong, though. Am I? <laughs> Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm not again. wrong. There's a ladder here. Was it well, you? Sir. Did you have it? The Ring of Accrual and the Ring of Exultation. He doesn't have it. Damn it. That's definitely a strange sound for exhaustion. Yeah, because like I said, it sounds forced. Like you're like you're tensing your abdomen to push the to push the air out. And that's just not what you do How might I when you're so tired. You come again. Because it doesn't make any sense. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. I don't the really give a shit if the shopkeep understands. The application of coin. <laughs> I get that there's supposed to be, you know, an adoration of me because I'm the arisen. I, I am the great one and all that. But they don't need to fillet me at every goddamn turn with everything they say. I chose not to buy something from a shop and he managed to spin that into, well, he is one of the best people with coin that I've ever known. It's like, dude, like. Hands off, hands off my Johnson, man. <laughs> take it, take it easy.
even if I did, like, even if there was somebody that I very highly, highly admired, I'm not just going to be like, you get out of bed, you walk to go get a, like, oh, wow. Look at how he walks. It's just, it's so elegant. And how he sips his coffee. My God. I've never heard such a refined slurping noise in my life. Fucking, it's just weird. What am I to do? He really ought to have returned by now. How much you want to bet? I go next to him. He's gonna have a quest for us. He's gonna interrupt us. Oh, la di do, la di day. I couldn't live with myself. Get it over with. Is that you, Norbert? Oh, fine. Wow. Wait. I had to talk to him. Said he was going to go and search for. Oh my God! Amazing. So I thought, may please, sir. I worry for many thanks. Go into the forest. And turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, oh, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye, but my brother and I are the only ones who. I suppose there's only one. Th I'll have to show you the way. Just be. Son of a her. bitch. I need you to watch over me, right? Perhaps we ought to hurry. I really shouldn't Best have fucking talked to him. Two. Wait, this is a story quest? Fade. I need to find no but. Well, that sucks. I just wanted I wanted to buy the the thing. What skills do you think are being our best for thieves so far? Well, met. Also, I think it was Dudley who sold the ring I'm after. The Ring of Aggression. Boosts strength. Should I buy two of them? I'm kind of thinking about it. We have also the Ring of Resolution. So, so far, the best ones for Thief for small monsters seems to be that Biting Wind or whatever the fuck it is. Concussive Step seems good at first. I have not found really a solid use case for it. And it's not that it's bad. It's just that there's other stuff that seems to be better. I haven't used Helm Splitter yet. Gut and Run is insanely good. Powder charges are insanely good. Particularly, both of them are in, are fantastic for taking down big monsters. Particularly because you can climb on top of a lot of monsters and uh, plant a bomb, then use gut and run on their weak point, which will stagger them. And then gut and run also knocks you off the monster. And then when you're falling down, you can blow it up. And a lot of monsters, that just knocks them down just immediately. It's it's nuts. And snare is good. I haven't used the second level of it. Mostly because I tried to use it against a bunch of big monsters, but it just didn't seem to do much. So I really only found use on harpies, which is not nothing. It's not nothing. <laughs> it really trivializes harpies. Uh, I'm going to buy two of these. Equip purchase. Yes. Pleasure doing business with you. How much does that actually move my stuff up? Please tell me that I didn't just burn a whole bunch of money for nothing. Did I burn a whole bunch of money for nothing? <laughs> okay, let's remove that. What is my strength? My strength is 313. I've only gotten to a snare. I'll probably go with Ensnare and Helm's Twitter for now. Seems more useful than Shadow Cloak. Yeah, I haven't used Shadow Cloak yet either. I think Shadow Cloak would be really, really useful. For solo runs. For solo runs, I think it'll be like a definitive skill. And I think that's what I'll do when I eventually make like a video for how to do a solo run. It's going to be very thief centric. Okay, so can I see how this is affecting my shit? Boost strength. 343. I think I just wasted a lot of money on this. Oh no, no, that that's a pretty solid amount. That's like it's like ten percent. Those rings of strength are like ten percent additional strength. Never mind, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. You know what we can do with our other rings? We can give them to Kitsu, our faithful Palico. So yeah, she actually has something resembling health. 
But yeah, Gut and Run is fairly late in. Concussive yeah, I, I was pretty well disappointed with Concussive Step, if I'm being if I'm being honest. Now, that being said, I only use the first level of it. I haven't purchased the second version. Uh the fire blades? The fire blades thing is better than you think it is. Particularly in combination with Scarlet Kisses. You can proc the inflamed effects on monsters where it's really, really important by yourself then. Particularly griffins. If you want to prevent a griffin from running away, you need to set its wings on fire. And it will ground it for quite a bit of time. And you can do that by yourself if you've got Scarlet Kisses. Or if you start using Carve and you climb onto the weak spot of the monster. And you can... Yeah, Kindled Blades. Yeah, that, that ability is fucking solid. I don't have it right now because I want to see how good this parry is. Which I still haven't successfully used yet. You're welcome to take whatever you like from Mostly I want to see if it's useful against I'd bigger opponents. This is a good spot. Let's stop here a moment. I've camped here with my brother many a time. No doubt he caught his breath here. Um, or we could just keep going because we've been walking for like two minutes, dude. Follow me. Oh. Oh, another another camping kit. I don't really give a shit about a camping kit. Do you want me to camp here? Fuck it. I'm moving on. Goodness. Higher up than I thought. Take care not to fall. Careful now. He is following us. That guy die? Yeah, I think the guy that we were around died. Either that or I accidentally killed him. Eh. Oh no, he's still alive. Or is that, uh, yeah, this is this guy. I don't know what happened to the other one. He's dead now. In the arms of the angels. <laughs> But clearly, a big... Ooh, wait, wait. I'll be with you in a second. Must collect golden trove beetles. They are necessary. Ah, it is almost upon us. I gotta start trying to parry the biggins. Can anyone hear me? Please, I need help. But yeah, I have this on just specifically for dealing with smaller enemies. Got him. Also, the, I, as long as you aren't getting I attacked, done for. the bomb is also incredibly useful for small opponents. Oh, was a near thing. I think I'll be all right. Save your thanks, Norbert. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in... Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. The sooner the better. Ah, you'll hear no complaint. Let us take every precaution that we might see our charge delivered safely. All right. Let's do it. Escort the brothers back to Melv. Sure, why not? <laughs> Here's where I just get them to the cliff and fucking yeet them off. The good old yeetus deletus. I think, honestly, with the agency that you've got in this game, I think a solo run would actually be pretty fun. 
I am, like I said, definitely going to complete the game. I do want to make probably a thief and a warrior, like, tutorial. What to look for, what to, what to build with, and all that crap. But after that, because I'll probably have to completely delete my save. Because you don't have more than one save slot for some god-awful reason. You know what? Maybe I'll be able to... Depends if they strictly rely on cloud saves or not. If they don't, then I should just be able to copy my save and store it somewhere. Which, that would be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because learning how to do this solo style would be... I don't know, because it does kind of feel like they, they, they get in the way sometimes, the pawns. That was an old I, I'm exhausted. Good on you. We did it. Now give a reward, why please. Follow him. So long as he stays away from When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused, and I was right. My brother is always the one taking the initiative. But today's misadventure showed me that we managed to save no still. Okay, so but from now on. Give money. Thank but you. Sir Norbert safely returned. <laughs> Mel shan't lack for medicinal herbs. Two good deeds in one, you might say. Like, just give money, please. I don't need all the... I don't need your life story, dude. You find the ogre right behind, right behind where his brother was. Cyclops, my pad. I don't believe that I did. I probably should have pressed on a little bit. Oh, well. I shall take a look inside. Go for it. All right, well, let's go ahead and use another fairy stone, which I need to make sure to purchase another one of. Burnworth. There's a house with a quest. Dude, there's a bunch of fucking quests in this game all over the place. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? I couldn't figure out how to start it, though. Hey, you. Ah, he returned. Splendid. The cart reached its destination safe and sound. No, it didn't. From the televit, you eat... I had to find another cart. Because the first one got destroyed by a minute or an ogre. That actually was one ogre, an ogre. A Shrek. It didn't check itself before it Shreked itself. Okay, so now where is... Where is the beggar? Any ideas as to not much going on hereabouts? I'm supposed to follow him somewhere. Whatever, let's buy a couple of fairy might stones. Might as well take a look while you're here. Yeah, sure, might as well. What? Are you actually kidding me? Fairy stones are ten grand. <laughs> what? Why is a fairy stone ten fucking grand? Are are you are you joking me? That's ridiculous. Here, eh? Stop by again. Well, I guess we're not going to get any more fairy stones. I wouldn't have used them so willy-nilly style if I would have known <laughs> how much goddamn cash they were. I'm going to need some I'm mod sure the game where Shrek takes a piece of ogre models, drags to the dragon with Tonky riding them. <laughs> Dude, that'd be, that'd be legitimately killer. And every time they do the drop quite, this is my swamp. Just like mod in all of their grunts and sounds to be lines from Shrek. Who are you there? Your presence is re <laughs> Hello there. Well met, son. How might I be of service? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. 
Ah, excellent find. This ladder is a ladder. Fucking. Oh god, my frame rate. That's the only thing that isn't safe in towns. Okay, let's see here. Let's take the falses. This <laughs> Lord Farquad. Some of you... Oh, kind of, yeah, with the pawns. Some of you may die, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> as long as you please. Always another errand to see to. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. You. Okay, so I still got 46k. I think I am going to hit homespun cloak. Is that any good? Defense 116. My defense sucks. <laughs> Let's drop some of this business off. Only the skills to mod, I would do it. The problem is also, I don't know what their internal shit looks like. So it might be really, really obnoxious. Someone might even have to, depending on how it's like compressed and packaged, someone might have to make a decompiling thingy so that you can work with it in the first place. But somebody smarter than me will probably figure out how to do it. Because, you know, why not? I, re I require it's to new games to play. What you got? What you got, girl? Our spud Roborant. He doesn't need that. What about you dinguses? Greenwares, you can keep that. Baking powder, apple, ring of a cruel. All right, that works. All right on the roads, despite the hour, you know where to find. Also, I've been just storing all the wig stones. <laughs> if only I had tons and tons of excess cash to burn, because I would totally, if I did, I would one hundred percent pay someone to make that mod. <laughs> Shrectacular. Hmm. Let's see here. What did I want to do? I want to follow the beggar and figure out what his goddamn fucking deal is. It irritates me girtly. But I also don't just want to sit there and wait in real time for him to go somewhere else. Where, also, where's the bench? The bench in here. This is a, I can only sit on certain benches. There's benches all over the place, but if it's not a magic special bench, I'm not allowed to sit on it and pass the time. You know, the Bitcoin bull run so you can pivot out of crypto. <laughs> Never got into crypto myself. I will doze off. Doze off again. Doze off again. Doze off again. Aw, oh, man. They wouldn't let me doze off another time. Don't. It sucks ass. Yeah, it sounds about right. That is why I never wanted to get into it in the first place. Too volatile. I'm not gonna Bitcoin so I take a year off work or two to play Dragon's Dogma and Wilds. Dude, when does this dude show up? Where does he go? Where did he come from? Cotton Eye Joe? Uh, this is just going to be one of those dealies, isn't it? One of those dealies that are just going to be really, really irritating. Because it's got to have something really, really specific that I'm supposed to do to make this move along. It's going to irritate me. Like, I'm... Who are you there? Fucking... You're... Your mother's presence was requested at my bedchamber tonight, you fuckwad. Interrupting me in the middle of shit. 
Now what the hell, what the hell was I talking about? Uh So he he definitely shows up midday. The problem is Excuse you. There he is. How the fuck do I get him to move? Do I just keep giving him money until he fucks off? Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Aye, got some content. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I've given him money every fucking day. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Do I really have to sit here and wait? I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to save my throat with a mug of ale. I found a seeker token there just now. Huh. Found the hate of the monster when it's fucking busted. It is particularly, yeah, because you can stack shields. The problem is you can stack shields. He would fain have left. An ease overtook him, so behind a pillar he crept. Go to the other side of the and inn where the wood is stacked beside an overhang. Flash of light. Ere the room filled with screams. After after he tells his stupid fucking point. story. Then the shrine grew deathly still, and our hero was all alone. For every last soldier had been transformed into stone. Wary of his foe. And with you know it's a much better one ah I don't know if this is this is entirely too crass I don't have this marked as an 18 only stream so I should maybe not do some of the dirtiest limericks of all time the gloating serpent was caught by surprise and with a pitiful hiss neath the pillar it writhed. good God and these stories are so fucking long too last of its might to the depths of the shrine did the monster take flight. Uh, uh, climb on the overhang, then climb on the waterway, running over the roofs and go to the tower on the other side and climb on top of the tower. Well, if you're going to go through all that, you should get a Seeker's token. Needless to say, it was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Now go somewhere else, you fuckwit. Treat your ears to a tale by it's not hard to storyteller. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I, I would greatly appreciate a coin. Why so would you make a quest like tale. this where I actually have to sit now, here? Listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most <laughs> 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 Move somewhere else. Gather round. Treat your ears to a tail by. Will he just do this wherever I take him? This really is fun, He will. <laughs> I think I broke him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I broke him. As he's going through all the gestures, but he's not saying anything. Look as long as you please. All right, so you said in the inn. Or the other side of the inn where the wood is stacked beside an overhang. Hmm. Unfortunately, we're, we're two out of sync. Is this the wood stack of which thou speaketh? Up the hill to your left. Oh, sick. Are you fucking kidding me? There's actually a port crystal here and I never found it. 
I guess I can go grab that other port crystal. Up the hill. So left. Further this way. This archway. Oh! Up yon. That archway. Up there. Got it. Not up here. Hmm. Waterway running above the roofs. <laughs> but I found something else I did. <laughs> hey, let me up there. Don't you dare lock tease me. Fine thing, this. My pity it is wasted on us. There's no harm in keeping it on hand till a use presents itself. Sick. Hey, and a fairy stone. It's not an infinite fairy stone. There's that one, too. Oh, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. You're talking about, yeah, that waterway. Like those old Roman aqueducts. Aqueducts. You're talking about going up on there? Oh, I see. There's the stack of wood. Yeah, sees it. Woo! Woo! I also do need to go back and collect that, uh... There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Dude, where the fuck is Andrew? <laughs> I know where Shadowheart and Kitsu are. They're navigating through, but how the where the fuck did that Andrew dude go? <laughs> okay, he just teleported over to them. <laughs> yeah, boy. No, stop it. Stop doing stuff. Well, there too, as soon as you get on the aqueduct. Money, 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 money. Money. <laughs> and you know what that means? That means I got my fifth one. Which means I can get that ring, the ring of vehemence. Well, I gotta see what it's like towards the other end. I know there's probably nothing this way, but I gotta know for sure. But the ring of vehemence ends up increasing your knockback, which is uh, pretty fucking kick ass. Harpy pinion. Oh boy, rotten meat. My favorite. Delicious. Well, fuck it. I'm going to follow it all the way. Then I shall remain by your side. A flock of harpies draws near. <laughs> my magic can fuel your weapon with the fury of the elements. No. Fucking... Almost took me off. Follow it all the way to the... Hello. You took a second to spawn in. Goblin owns. Also, what was that crap that I got earlier? A silver rapier. Along with some pants. Miner's hosen. And savant's boots. I mean, they're better in literally every way, so... Oh, I can't wear them. <laughs> Wait, but can my lovely compatriot wear them? Yes, she can. You're too far away. Well, that's not my fault. That's a them problem. Come on. 
Any other pieces of armoire? Not really. Which, of course, means I guess I didn't need to buy two of those strength rings. You know what I can do, though? If I'm running into a difficult enemy... I mean, rings don't weigh that much. I can always, once an enemy's knocked down, particularly a big boy, I can just re-equip that shit. All right, Kitsu. She's got the robe on. It's fine. Yeah, boy. What's this dealy? Just bones. Yay, more friends. Aged scrag of beast. Bandits in the cave. Sounds like my idea of a good time. As long as it lets me up there. Oh, right. It won't let me do this. I'll save you. Go where your help is needed. Get fucked on. Okay, can I touch the thing now? Well, this is all awfully neat. Edwater Cave. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It is an exciting discovery, but we ought not to lose our heads. You know what? I should try and parry these guys. Oh, can I really just interrupt myself whenever? I can. You can just interrupt yourself with that counter no matter what you're doing. That's actually pretty kick ass. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. I grant you fire's blade. Careful, there's a lot of them. Nonsense. Ah! Get hassled by bats. Rats with wings. Uh, I think you got him, Kitsu. What the fuck? Okay, so there's that. This is a cave that I already cleared out. Friends! I'm gonna eat you. Come on, then. Nicely done. I can do no less in service to the Arisen. Well said. Got him. See, it's fine. I'm a tough customer. Yeah, boy. Plate armor. Neat. This ox guard was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. <laughs> the work of goblins, mayhap. Careful now. The work of goblins, mayhap. We just killed the band. Ah, fucking, fucking pawn dialogue. You know, every time my standard for their intelligence drops just a little bit, and yet somehow they manage to defeat my lowered expectations every single time. It's nothing short of incredible, really. Like, it's impressive in a kind of depressing way. Ah! Don't kick me. Dude, he just knocked her into next fucking week. Come on, bring it. Bring it, bitch. Nothing personnel, kid. was well fought. There's no one standing who Ooh. might say otherwise. We Some must sick, nasty, cashy, cashy. Not bad, not bad. Take each trial as it comes.
And the end of the cave. I got some good shit out of it, though. Fortunately, now I gotta, gotta kind of take the aqueduct back. Ooh, Bandinger just cooked this nightshade ass hat. Oh, nightshade pal Lumo. So how many times did you get nap napped? <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Oh, Bandit Greaves is for warriors. Oh, well, that's that's a good thing to have if I'm gonna be a warrior one day. One die in the long, long from now. This is what? This is gonna be the fastest way out of here? I never had, maybe it's because I was using light bow gun. I never had that many issues with Nightshade. We gotta get to the Road. Are you a bandit? No, you are a pawn. Gotta make sure to get my thing once we got this a capture Never quest. <laughs> yeah. We've all Not done it, precast. Inside the gates. I I quite agree. Shredding. I was I didn't like heavy bow gun nearly as much. Mostly because if you put a couple of evasion skills on light bow gun, like you are a force to be fucking reckoned with. Like it is disgusting. Tell is Vermin was once a beast twin kingdom. You don't actually have True. to block anything, you just get Indeed. to not be there. Though tis not widely known among the common folk. And how do you guys know it? Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be have you found any of the items we this The Ring of Vehemence. Yes. Very yes. Is the same amount of iframes. It's a longer dodge, though. It takes you longer to dodge. You have the same amount of iframes, but your dodge lasts longer and has more recovery frames. Whereas the light bow gun one is fucking just quick as hell. Particularly after shooting, you get uh you get quick hops. Dowsing spikes. The ring of endeavor. Let's see here. I still haven't gotten solid use out of out of easy kill. Mostly because it's really it's really difficult to tell the smaller enemies apart. Like when they're doing different things. Like what battles are so fucking chaotic all the time. Ooh, she's got extra stuff. I forgot to spend her stuff. Spell hold. Oh, so you can hold a spell. That's interesting. I kind of just want her to be able to do all the different kinds of damage, though, so. Solemnity. Oh, that's silence. Do come again. I will, sir. After I equip this. So, what is our knockback currently? Our knockdown power is 197. And this bumps it totally fuck to 297. That was just plus 100. The fuck? All right. Well, welcome. That's insane. Oh, hell. Fuck off, dude. It's insane. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Hoy, friend. Have a great time for me today. There's yeah, sure. Why not? Come. Every last resident in this city is hooked for it. Made me painful. I want to live a life. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling. 
Yeah, I escape. Mind every twitch in her face fight in the order system. To appease her. Row, row, fight the power. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. Do I get the Tis box? It's proof that I am not my mother's servant. It is something I obtained of my own will. Give me Here the box. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd b I may not be able to wander the city again. Thus, I cannot go. I till then. Sure, why it not? Quite a gift. Oh, wow. I hope that you just gave me four grand. And courtly stuff, which I don't care about. The damage, I think, for Light Bowgun is a little bit lower. But... Yeah, I mean, if you're having fun with heavy bowgun, don't don't change on my account. I'm just saying what I preferred specifically, and I did prefer light bung, low light bowgun under over heavy. Fuck words. Well met. Good. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated. Everybody to talks so aggressively. <laughs> throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. And by throw it at me, I mean, you know, ditch it temporarily. Courtly. I will say that's pretty nice looking. Solid fashion. Unfortunately, it's not fashionable enough to overcome its severe detriment in terms of defense. Goddamn fall damage. Did you just splat? Fall damage sneaks up on you real quick. Was trying all the weapons. Lance was kind of fun. That's that's what THC says. I have yet to play Lance in in World or Rise. I did off a roof, <laughs> and thus the man who fought ogres and cyclops and minotaurs he died. Oh, did he die in battle? Nah, roofing accident. <laughs> This shit always tickles me. Lance, this is superior. See, that's what I was talking about immediately. <laughs> uh, do I have everything that I want to have? Yes. Foremost hospitality in all the... You know where to find me. Okay, so the one thing I definitely have to remember is for one to turn off my fucking lantern. Lance is the superior weapon. And we gotta grab this port crystal back, because apparently we can just teleport here already. Which means I'll probably... Hmm. I should make my way out. Where are you going? What did he say his name? The lad's in Vinewith now. Expedition, sword drills. Say, you look experienced. Where are you idiots going? To me another time. Just remind I've been running around in daylight with my nod. <laughs> yeah, because it's easy to forget. Okay, who do I need to talk to? Apologies, but I can't offer you. Why? You really can't offer us a ride. Out of the car, all of you. Why? Fine, you dick. Where's the day, Corey? Hmm. Fry tail. What do we do? I still want to do the fucking thing with the beggar, but I don't, I legitimately don't, don't know what to do at all. No destination. Watch the beggar as he goes about his day and see if you can't find out how he makes his coin. Okay. So technically I know what to do and that is sit there forever. Also, hmm, I can't tell you, you got an old face girl. Height says young, face says in her 40s. <laughs> Everyone's played all the weapons now. I tend to specialize pretty hard. 
Mostly because, I don't know, it's just the way I am. I think Gunlance is the last one. I haven't messed with Gunlance at all. I mean, until Freedom Unite, I basically just hadn't played it. At all. All right, so I'm heading, heading out to the far, to the far place, to the getting place. Let's doze off until the next day. There we go. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. I've no time for you now. One lands for a turn now. Heavy bow gun for master rank. Normally, I end up playing through a game. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Well, I don't want to go to fucking Melv, so. Out me way. I'm going out to the checkpoint. I want to buy a whole bunch of crap. I've been drenched. Oh no, what will I do? And I'm going to leave a port crystal there on top of it. Ooh, what about this one? Will you take me there? This ox cart's bound for the... I'll not take Bam, you anywhere, so son. My Let's go, motherfucker. Chop, chop. Andalay. Garçon. But I tend to stick with one weapon for pretty much the entirety of a playthrough. That's just me. I like to really eke out everything. This is not That's my magic branch, you an elemental boon. Come on, bring it, fool. Take a swing, motherfucker. Take a swing. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Don't do that. No, get off her! Are you fucking kidding me, Wolf? Fuck you! I hate those small little bastards. Single-mindedness makes our enemy predictable, but not necessarily easier to counter. Did absolute lose its balance at any moment? What we say we give it to the Quite fast and true, and our warriors are born. The moment of indecision may spell our doom. Get wrecked on. Dead. You know you can wait, what? You can buy houses? Kick ass! Now where's the cart? Dude, I can't wait to buy a house. I have to buy an imaginary one because the idea of buying a house in real life, well, that's the fantasy. I anyway, enjoy collecting all the endemic fellows in the canteen and grenades. Yeah, I actually did enjoy that in World. Got the rare endemic life. I'm Fuck them. Ah, it's about the equivalent of 10 stays in an inn, so it's well it. worth it. Interesting. And we are going to drop the port crystal here in game mortgage. With the port crystal placed, port we'll crystal. be able to use a fairy stone to return here in an instant. All right, let's see what we can buy. Let's see what we can get at the get in place. Well, hello there, sir. Oh, there's always demand for weapons. Particularly well, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the shit that she's got. She has weapons for everybody, and they do get relatively expensive, but they are strong. 
I bought the strongest ones that she has here for daggers, and they are, well, <laughs> quite fucking strong. So we're going to be picking up a flamberge here. Because we'll be using that later. For right now, though, Falconian Beak. Oh, I can actually wear that. Kick ass. Glorian Plate. Warriors can wield that. Or how, how much money is this going to cost me already? Falconian Beak is 14k, because of course it is. All right, well, let's, let's, let's buy this stuff real quick. But purchase. Yes. Where quarrels occur every other. Always a pleasure. So we'll have some of this shit sitting I'll in the bank. Flambeige. Great server with a saw-like blade that can rend flesh, organ, and bone with equal ease. Packs are heavier, and our purse is far lighter. Well, oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the border. What will it take? Right, we need to also get a poison pinion so I can upgrade this son of a bitch again. Ants the Falconian beak, because why not? Oh, this also takes poison pinions, because of course it does. Upgraded Flamberge. Red Wolf Fangs. I have not seen those yet. Alright. What else? What else we got? Outlander's Garb. Ooh, that's looking pretty slick. Looking more more assassin like all the time. Though I don't know if I want to spend too much more money on this shit right now. Mostly who wild eagle padded armor. Yeah, that looks pretty fucking slick. If a warrior could wield it, I would buy this. But that's the big problem. Is I am concerned. Blade wielder's coat. Hmm. I think this is this is what I'm after. Blade wielder's coat. Only one thing can wear it. This looks like Wayfarer shit. Hmm. We'll see. Warriors can wear this. That wouldn't be too bad. Dauntless. That's warrior specific. And wow, that's so much better. I think I'm going to start collecting warrior gear. Yeah. Awareness. Cruel. Tenacity. Those are looking like the enemies in the Lost Bastille. Dude, you are 100% right. Or like those hawk guys, the, the the hawk experts in what what the fuck is that place called? Uh, it's that misty ass area near that misty ass area where they they launch the hawks at you. What is this Malarian plate? It does look pretty slick. The forest fellas, yeah, in technical terms. I don't know if this is worth buying. Every other day. Uh, I, have, I, have a, I have a port crystal here. I don't need to just buy everything. I can teleport back here. I don't need to spend my key ash now. No, you are not who I want to talk to. The hockey boys. Your trade towns can make you right sick of crap. There we go. Let's ditch that baby down there for now. We'll hold on to the rest of the key ash. And of course, hard spuds go bad, which means I should probably be combined. You know what? Whenever I get hard spuds next time, I need to combine that shit immediately. Yeah. Outs, but here, at least. Experiment. Use recipe. I want shit that's going to give me stamina. Cinnamon bark. Miracle roberant. Fruit roberant. Harspud. Dried spud. A great deal of stamina. Sure. Why not? I guess. We got enough of that shit. Sure, why not? Exquisite roberant. Okay. 
because of those make both of those. And the rotten stuff we can't make anything out of, which, of you know, Many thanks. isn't surprising, I guess. But we need poison pinions, something fierce. Must be pretty kind to me. You know what we can do while we're out here? Well, never mind. The Jadeite Orb, I think we have to go into the Vernforth Prison in order to get information for that. At least that's what the pawns were telling me. So we got to find the harpies in this area. Where you at, harpies? Fine. We'll fight them. It's a hot goblin! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Rex. What did I just get hit by? Every time I see Val strikes, it reminds me of him. I missed the oh Yahoo guy. Well done, Master. <laughs> yeah, uh Who is I can't remember what his actual name, or, you know, does he even have a name? Maybe I'm just thinking of all the, the challenge mods that I did where they always make him, like, an actual boss. Which is pretty goddamn hilarious. Whoa! Stab him! Did I get hit by a rock? Is that what that was? I got fucking one tapped. Andrew, move out of the way, dude. Whatever. I got him! <laughs> Yeet! This is what I'm talking about with those finishing moves, though. Rattler Rock Scales. I still wonder daily about the fact that they made such beautiful maps for Monster Hunter Wild and they decided to just let you roam in the Guiding Lands forever. <laughs> Instead of maybe combining a good chunk of the maps. Shall we set it rolling? Yes. No, I don't- I your wrath in some respect, Master. No, I didn't mean to throw you, damn it. <laughs> she skipped. Our DD2 seems much more difficult. You just move so fast in DD1, it's hard to get hit. Yes. It is a more difficult game, I would say. So far. Well, that didn't accomplish much. Still, got to push a big boulder. Now, here's the real question. Can I parry boulders? <laughs> I don't know if that one was actually going to hit me, so I guess that, <laughs> that one doesn't count. Upsy daisy. Ooh, Jasper. And no difficult settings to speak of. I of that which I'm aware, which is good. Yeah, 100%. That means everybody gets the same experience, and there are there are ways to ameliorate the difficulty. Like in 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 game ways of messing with it. All canteen items unlocked. Nice, dude. That takes some doing too. It was always really irritating that I, I grew up with a lot of people, particularly for like Safi or 
any of those or particularly when I'm doing fatty runs place to and nobody around. has the ingredient to give you uh what was it feline safeguard I can't remember what it was called feline moxie because there was a daily version of it and the one that you get through getting the food when you do that uh it's like a jumping puzzle it's like a platforming puzzle to get that ingredient Friends! Stab! You had to have all the alcoholic ingredients. I love the little puzzle ones. And yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm talking that about, that one. We trounced our foe, well and true. It's just like it we made those fights a lot more bearable. Place. Take each trial as it comes. Also, I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. Shall we mark it for later or explore it at once? Oh, we're going in. We're a hundred percent going in. Lanterns on, boys. Oh. Uh. Well, that sure was a cave, all right. <laughs> this is not it. I just feel like this is the exit. Unfortunately, this doesn't work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yep, this sure was one of the caves of all time. Hmm. Are there explosive barrels about? It doesn't look this like one that can get destroyed. Material. By an explosive barrel. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. But I'd like to check, you know? You know what? Yeah, I bet we follow along this path and it's going to open up. It's going to go into the other side of that cave, presumably. Caught uh, you. You'll be alright now. Okay, but like I wanted to go up there. There we go. No, oh, I'm getting thirsty. Getting thirsty, thirsty. Hey, there's a campground down here. Oh, that lovely flies buzzing in our ear. Uh, that was weird. It delayed it. I thought I, I thought I busted the game for a second. Scrag the command of powerful beast. magics is a sorcerer's privilege. Get the fuck out of my face, you dumb bitch! God damn it! I'm really, I cannot overstate how much I hate that NPCs can just fucking interrupt you. If I don't want to talk to an NPC, then they need to stay the fuck away from me. What is this, real life? When people force you into small talk situations? Here, let me sit down next to you real quick now and talk. You definitely weren't doing heads. other stuff. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? I am feeling rested. How's this? Oh, age beef steak. AKA Garbagey. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, we gotta Whoa. try. A ballista. Tis not how we Dude, this, but when that check counts. that shit out. There's a battle royale going on out there. A fucking titan versus a dragon. Careful, master. We know not what to expect from this enemy. We're gonna be so fucked. Uh oh. He spotted us. He spotted. I you fire the blade. Wait. Use it well. Come on. Uh 
Uh oh. Draw it back faster. Draw it back faster. Oh, Got him. Stilling its pulse is no mean feat, but it can be done. Strike at the heart while it's exposed. This is a bad idea. To me. There's gotta be some other way we can shoot it. Some other way we can get our hands in this to win it. It's ignoring us now. Oh no, the dragon is not ignoring us. He's still casting spells at us. Fine for the shit. Dragons doing dragon shit. Woo. We must That's my magic oh. Fire. Holy fuck. All right. Let's do this. Fair amount of health. Fair amount of health. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that can just like put me out, do I? I don't think I do. So we're just going to be on fire for a little bit. Well, one of them, one of my guys is down. Well, <laughs> I got one tapped. Oh my god! No miracle will bring us victory here. We want to put forward if we think our approach. Well, now I'm not sure. I don't know what's happening. And I'm dead. <laughs> Hold on. Still alive. Dude, no fair. He can cast while he's in the air, man. We gotta get to another ballista. We gotta take him down somehow. We gotta shoot him in that big glowing weak spot. We need the big boy ballista. This is just in general a stupid place to be. I should have not attempted to take on a fucking dragon. Yeah, this was a stupid fucking idea. No few times has an overconfident step so can I boots. Yes. That sounds good. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Okay, we seem to be fine here. Vocation rank up. I can I can truck with that. We got past the dragon. And on the plus side, we have a fairy stone. So, if we can't end up beating the dragon, which I don't think I'll be able to, we cannot break it from this side. True enough. But we're safe in here. <laughs> but we can use a fairy stone to leave, should we need to. Get stun locked, bitch.
And yes, kidnapping all the animals, I know it's like five minutes later or something, is actually really fun. I did enjoy doing it. Particularly, you got, you got to get wigglers. You got to get the, the, the red wigglers in particular. You sneak up on those bad boys. The red wigglers are the special ones, right? It's, been, it's just been so long. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would capture <laughs> lethal force. That's what I'm counting on. how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most beneficial in combat. Let's keep rolling it. We're reasonably going to get two shots. Damn it. We can't actually aim at him from here. He'd need to already be chasing us. Yeah, this is as low as it goes. Allow me. Allow you what? Anyone of you guys want to throw something at the dragon? That we have his attention. So I can shoot him with this fucking thing. Uh, let's at least explore up here first. Yeah, that dragon hat. Ooh. A different one. I mean, this one has a more advantageous angle. Like, I bet it'll do a massive amount of damage. Oh, Tigrex looking dorky. Friends! I grant you roaring flames. Nothing personnel, kid! Ow! I got stuck. And we have an, a, a Yoger. Or Cyclops, that other one. No, get off the ladder. You fucking idiot. Are you fucking kidding me? Fine. <laughs> I will here and now. Holy fuck. this work? Alright, come on. No way! That actually worked! You can parry it! <laughs> Bam, son! Our chances against future so, in fact, what, what have we learned? You can, with devastating effect, use easy kill to parry big monsters, and it does the fucking damage. We've been traveling together for some time now, haven't we? Also, I am damaged. <laughs> How might I be of aid? You are in need of healing. Allow me. I might as well keep on exploring. Oh, that, that's the end of the road there. I don't think I can jump and make that gap. So, it's time to shoot a dragon in the face. I definitely should do this, given that my health is exactly where I need it to be.
It's perfectly okay to let my guard down, even for a second. Might I be of assistance? Ow. You could really be of assistance if you could go to the other ballista and set this shit up. Okay, what the... Why can't I move it? Dude, the ballista are really fucking weird. Of what use is a ballista... Oh, that's what they're doing. So that's why it takes time sometimes for them to get... I see how this works now. Yeah, perhaps you guys could be of assistance to me. I shall not fail you. This isn't going to hit him. This is as low as it goes. I would gladly be of aid to Arisen. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so it shoots high. <laughs> Be wary. Dude, that no, we've fucked it counted. up. We busted up one of his wings. Point taken. <laughs> With the fury of the elements, a curative ought to do the trick. Are you? What are you guys gonna help me or what? So, apparently he can cast spells from great distances. Who'd have thunk it? Being a dragon and all that. Ow. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. I can scarcely see a thing in the smoke. My god. Oh my god. So he can just cast spells on us from absurd distances, man. Like, I get it. I get why he can do it. Anti-cheese mechanic. Nah, I'm the one getting fucking cheesed. Nah. Nah. So what was the point of me being able to do this? I was also, I was going to say, where did the rest of my guys go? Okay, so fighting dragons, stupid idea. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not do that and say that we did. We are in no way ready to take on those bastards. I will tuck with my tail between my legs and rightly fuck off. Nation's death knell? The hell is this? Reading it, cast the spell Meteoron. Okay. Maybe it's worth money. 
and a makeshift vault key. Okay. Key to what vault? It will break a key that opens Vermon's vault of relatively crude make. It will break after a single use. Where is Vermund? I mean, this is Vermouth or whatever the fuck it was called. Van Vernworth Vermouth. Well, if we get to wherever it's called Vermund, maybe that's what this place is. I don't fucking know. I'm not really paying attention. Not as much as I should be. Okay. Nothing doing here. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. You see that stuff, Pawn? You keep that shit to yourself. You're making me mad uncomfortable. Oh, did I cross the cross the way? I sure fucking did. Yep. So was I supposed to kill that dragon? Or was I supposed to fucking run like a coward from it? I think I was supposed to run like a coward from it. Hey! More friends. I hit the wrong button. Get me up. I grant you fire blade. Use it well. Thank you. Have no fear. Everything will be all right. Come on. Let me jump off. Holy Don't shit. Me. All right, I think I got the thing off his head. Now we just got to let our stamina recover. Oh, he missed. Boom, son. <laughs> no. Come on. Got him. Come on. Fall down, motherfucker. Fall down. I'm literally too slow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. It didn't work. Note to self. Grabs cannot be countered. <laughs> and no jutsu. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about. Eight, heavy Bowgun has... If you don't have a billion guard-up skills, it can be really difficult to get stuff done if that's what you're depending on. Whereas Light Bowgun, you can get away with a lot. And you don't even need evasion skills particular. You need evasion distance up. You don't actually need the uh, iframe sure up. I'm we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Black matter. The hell is this? A hammer of specially refined metal. Weighty in the extreme and with concussive force to match, it is a fine choice for those with muscle to spare. 
Cool. We also got a Malurian Cyclops Veil. That's neat, I guess. Astounding discovery. I can truck with that. Good on you for being so observant. I think we're gonna have to use a fairy stone to get out of this situation, though. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to find one, but I think I might be shit out of luck. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Ow. Maybe that's why she keeps tell telling me about ladders. I keep jumping off high places and getting a face meets the floor moment. This calls for a curative. Okay, don't do that. Whatever Use your healing you, magic because your healing magic is free. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. She's got a limited amount of curatives. Now let's see what's up here. It's hard to find my footing in this darkness. Oh, wait. What? Have I already been here? Yeah, I have already been here. So where the fuck? That was like a special little area then. Weird. Guess I popped up somewhere completely new. Hey, there's more ballistae. Ah. <laughs> uh. The way forward is unclear. I wonder if I can make that jump. How are we to proceed? Ye Master, I believe I could be evade here. I would gladly be evade, Arisen. I mean, that works. I got down. <laughs> Man, with fairy stones being 10 goddamn K, I really don't want to use them ever, but... I don't really have a good way back. Being heavy sucks. Really? Game? I'm coming back around. <laughs> I want you boring flames. It's kind of surprising how much experience hobgoblins are, hobgoblins are worth. Because they're worth 300 a pop. Which, given the effort it takes to kill them, for, for reference, those Cyclops are worth like 2,700. I mean, I guess they do still, like, de a decent amount of damage. Ooh. 4,200. Don't mind if I do. That's some walking around money. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Actually, that is a good suggestion, slave. Nope, never mind. It moves her to very heavy. I'd rather be heavy and have her at average. The problem is she's so fucking small. Average. We can keep her at average. And then I'm just barely in that bracket. Also, where the hell am I? Hey, we're circling around. We've actually covered quite a bit of distance. Considering the rough areas we've been traversing. Though I wouldn't say no to a camping spot, given that I'm at half health. Ooh, green warish. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Are you fucking kidding? They both just dove to their deaths. How is this my fault? Idiots. Why did you do this? 
Forgive me for being a burden, Arisa. You blithering idiots. Huh. Somehow, I don't like the look of this other area that we're going a curative into. curative ought to do the trick. Are there enemies around? I don't see any enemies. So, into the cave we go. The rock wall Lord burn. Lord spurs the imagination like places yet unvisited. A retreat may be in order, depending on what makes this its lair. Ow! Spiders! Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Kill the spiders! Ah! Fucking spiders. The fuck, man. So, what do you think is going to happen? Humbled by Tigrex for real. Yeah, there's always one monster that exists to defeat your own specific playstyle. Awake stone, Abyssinal neck wrap. To bring the dead back and to a wake stone. The hell does an abyssinal link wrap? It's awkwardly upon the shoulders of all save the most seasoned travelers. Okay, but it doesn't, like, do anything. It has the same amount of defense. I guess it has better debilitation resistance. I don't know if that was worth it. A fine prize. We must think very carefully before using it. Oh, but we do get a Seeker's token. Now here's a surprise. And since I'm already at heavy... We might as well see what we can extract out of here. I shall have to inform my own master of this. A little bit of gold, never hurt nobody. Oh, let's just grab a whole bunch of venom sacks. Oh yeah, I'm this feeling I'm feeling a, a, a break pretty soon. I my own master has yet to even discover it. I am working on a mighty piss, but I'd like to be able to get to a point where I can fucking camp, especially since nightfall is almost upon us. Hey, I think I spy a campground out there in the mist, in the horrid fog. The Misty marshes. We shall have to be all the more vigilant. Uh, that looks like it's really far down. Also, can't see shit. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, I'm still alive. Dead end curve. Ah! There's something called leap worms. And of course, undead. That was well I grant you fire blades. Use it well. My curative magic is yeah, nah, brah. Holy shit. We're just under constant assault out here. Also, I think I'm going the wrong way. my main squeeze my main pawn has access to holy magic this time oh fuck oh god
Yeah, put the holy magic up, please. Dude, this is a shithole. I hate it here. That holy magic be looking slick, though. I do like the vibe. I just wish I kind of knew where I was. So there is a way out. We just need to, you know, travel through the dark mist. The dark, horrible mist. At half health. You know what? I think I have been through here. There was a griffin's nest that I ended up taking out. And it was a one it was a one way trip. And I think I had to pass through here. Spirits. Hey, buff my weapon, please. Thank you. Let my magics grant you an elemental boost. Holy shit. This is a nightmare. Also, how much is it until I go to the next? 5,500 more discipline points. And then we've mastered Thief. We can move on to Warrior, finally. Damn. Got away. It was a glorious success. Let us try for the same results with our next attack. All right, now let's actually see. Uh, we're following some kind of path that is at least <laughs> lit by something. More spirits. Oh, these are bandits. Oh, taking damage. Pull back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait right there. Damn it! Stop hitting me with magic, please. Fucking bandits. I must summon reinforcements. <laughs> High fives indeed all around. Unfortunately, I am all I'm the more damaged. And loyal. And prefer to remain by your side. Ugh, battle, fuck off. I, I do so humbly ask that you fuck right off. Hey, we made it out of the mist. Uh, I probably still need the lantern out, huh? Now, where, pray tell, is the nearest campsite? I can't tell. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without you and me both. Whoa! Note to self never get a warrior that can launch me up into the air again. Because that shit gets irritating real quick. Oh, sick. I could always use more carry weight. That is never not going to be true. Yes.
So where haven't I gone? I've gone this way. Not an entirety at the very least. Battle is best avoided here. Against what? I ain't see nothing. Like I, I'm with you. I uh, don't really have much left to battle. My health is like obnoxious. Damn it! Let's get him. You thought, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, planting bombs and detonating around things. It's one of those things that really should get old, but just kind of doesn't. It is a fair reward. We cannot complain. Though I am looking forward to we seeing what the warrior has in store. Every oh, campsite, campsite. <laughs> Thank God. Would that such tranquility could last? You have my support. Damn it. Of course it's bandits. You are in need of peace. Allow me to wait a minute. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Are we good? All the shore that's going ashore? I guess not. Somebody's blowing a horn. Thank God. Ooh. Can I seriously not turn off my lantern when I'm here? Guess not. Hope this doesn't consume more lantern oil. But we desperately need to get back to a town so I can ditch some of the. Come Fuck! On, Why am I going this way? So apparently we can, in fact, get attacked at night we can get ambushed good to know I was not expecting it the okay, rest of the night now there we go Hello, come we have much to be getting on with yes we do though most of that involves Wow, I'm like smack dab in the middle. Yeah, I guess I'm closer to the checkpoint. I'm on the main road, so I should just be able to follow it. Okay, but before I do that, like I said, I need to take a quick break. And so I will. Get you all in like, uh, I don't know, five, ten minutes.
Yo, 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 yo. Ready to forge on? Yes, we are, Kitsu. Or rather, ready to forge back. Oh, sick. Money. I should, uh... I'm about to... Go on to the next vocation. So it's like, I don't want to spend extra money on it. Because I'm... I'm I spy with me little eye. A nogara. Alright. If I'm going to be fighting ogres and shit, I'm giving this shit to Andrew so I can actually move. I'm going to blow up his face. Hey, yo. Suck job. You want a piece of this? You don't want none of this shit. Shut up! Where am I? I'm like on his underside. Get knocked down, motherfucker! Wow! That was a really quick kill. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. One can see far to the distance. One thing I am noticing though, good place to take that did not landing. give me a lot of discipline points. I agree. Big monsters are really, really good for getting experience, particularly if you know their weak points, you can kill them really quickly. But as Just for getting yonder, discipline points, kill the small boys. The Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must go down our guard. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention how many discipline points that actually got me. But that parry is... It's one of the unique abilities that is actually really, really effective against big monsters and small ones. Which means... Uh, there are certain ones that it's really difficult to take them out of the rotation or justify the existence of certain ones since you can only have four at a time. Only four abilities. It's such a small amount. I can't you fly as well. Oh, I just straight up killed his ass. And he got torched. See, it looked like the ogre gave me what, like 170 or maybe 200 discipline points? Whereas these are giving me almost 50 per. Come on, take a swing, motherfucker. Take a swing! That was a. Never mind. I don't know what's going on. Everybody's dead. I think it's fine. <laughs> Come on, I want to get those last discipline points. I want to well shift done, over to Warrior. I'm excited to try something new. At some point, I might have to level up Strider all the way towards the end. Just because of the augment that it gives you. What was it, like lethality or something? So weak point hits deal even more damage. Which, I mean, how the fuck can you say no to that? Also, how the holy hey do I get over there? Hmm. 
How do I get up on top of there? Because I see one of those. Is that one of them beetles? Potentially coming from above. Definitely doesn't look like I can scale that. We. My word. This ox cart has been destroyed. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. We ought to proceed with caution. Oh, come on. It's right there. You can totally grab that. All right, all right. I don't know if we're supposed to get up this way, but does that matter? <laughs> We've done it. Huh, and there's another rift crystal over there. And it is what I thought it was. Golden Trove Beetle, baby. I'd be interested to know just how much extra carry weight I have from them by now. What the hell? That sounds big. What the fuck are these things? Did I just get 6,900 gold? Twisted pinions. Come on, bring it. Yeah, nuke it. Nuke it into oblivion. I want to know the max you can expand carry with the Beatles. I've gotten a few. Yeah, same. Particularly because they said so you can use it on your, your main no pawn as well. Victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Eh, a wake stone. That's not the worst thing. The problem is, because I can always come back from death, like I can reload, it kind of makes me not want to use wake stones ever. Also, I got a ring of amplification. Boosts amount recovered when using curatives. And then I guess if you're reading the props, I don't. Oh, same. I turned off tutorials. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm going to figure it out as I go along. Like, I carry most of the loot anyway, so I don't really give a shit about giving my pawn. But if you do finally hit the max, whatever that is, now you know where they can go. What the hay is back here? Also, this whole time I've been trying to find poison pinions back here, and I still haven't found another... There's like these poisonous harpies. Somewhere around these parts. Oh! What a dick! We must not let down our guard. It's a stealth goblin. He's waiting in the fucking tall grass. Dude, there's a shitload of them. That was not what I expected. Ah, you dick! Why did he wait until all his buddies was di had died to attack me? It's an extra risky strategy. Ow! Now the deer are pissed off at me. Sons of bitches. Five. Mm, not a very good level for strength. And I got a lot of shit to drop off. For something that... Right. This. Ooh. So this is what a wake stone looks like. I've got two sitting in my bank. Because I just don't really want to actually use them. 
Hey, Seeker's token. I'll gather this. It might be of use. And Seeker's tokens do not stick out to me at all. Like, even when I'm almost on top of them, I find them difficult to see. All right, well, we can see where this path takes us. Hopefully near some poison harpies. I can't believe I want to be accosted by poison harpies. It seems like the worst combination of things, but they've got some of my upgrade materials. We need poison pinions. Okay, but like, how do we get down here safely? I mean, because I do really want to fight that ogre. And those are harpies. Though, I think that's too high to fall. Did I just fuck myself over? I think I just fucked myself over. Ow. Poison is a nasty affliction. My curative magics are at your disposal. I'm Wait slowly I'm working my way down. I think I'm fucked. I think I really fucked myself over here. Yup. Well, that's one way to get down. Oh, I'm just dead. Use wake stone. Sure, why not? That is the dumbest reason to use a wake stone ever. I just got stuck on fucking terrain and there was nothing I could do about it. There's nowhere for me to go. Kitsu, why are you dead? Oh, <laughs> she fell down too. <laughs> no wake stone on her. I'm saved. Thank you, Arisen. No problem. Ah, kill it. Come on, poison pinion me. Yes. All right, we got enough for our upgrade. Now let's go kill that ogre. We got to be getting close. 3k left. That's all we need. Now we get to play some warrior business. Uh, is he stuck or is he just hanging around? He is legit hanging around. Damn it. I fucked up. Used too much stamina. What, pray tell, can give me a little bit of stamina back? Not much. Fuck. I don't want to use an astonishing amount of health and stamina. I want to use something that just gives me, you know, a little, little smidge back. I don't have anything that gives smidges. Immense amount of stamina. A great deal. Sure, why not? Explosion no jutsu, motherfucker. See, that was only worth 134 discipline. That's nothing. That's two goblin kills.
So killing the smaller ones is definitely... Wow, I really knocked myself off course, didn't I? Yeah, I sure fucking did. Oh, uh, you know, it'd be nice. You know, I think I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Technically, I still think it's quite a bit closer. Yeah, technically, I think it's a little bit closer to still go back to the checkpoint rest area. Yeah, and this should be the path that takes me there. And we're just going to take every fight we can get until we get that discipline that we're after. It would be, it'd be so nice to get something that increases the amount of discipline points we receive. So I can just play as the class that I want to play as. Just get it all knocked out, you know, right away. But we don't live in that world. More's the pity. Also, I wonder how long it takes for certain monsters to respawn. Because there used to be an ogre hanging around there. And I killed the wyvern. That was terrorizing the air. Not wyvern. Uh, griffin. I grant you fire yeah, I killed the wyvern that was in... The wyvern? I keep on saying the griffin that was in the area. Which I basically had to kill by myself, too, because my, my pawns didn't actually want to follow me down. Discipline gaining machine. We're about to come full circle from the place that we were. From the place that we started, the path where we diverged. All right, here's more poisoners. Give me them poison pinions. Oh, these are just regular harpies? Lame. I guess that's why they died so quick. It doesn't actually matter since we did get the one poison pinion we needed. But maybe it's time. Once once I hit warrior, maybe level up warrior a couple a little bit. Okay, these are the poison harpies. Got him. <laughs> then I think maybe it'll be time to start uh, start with the main quest again. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become... As much fun as I've been having just kind of generally dicking around and running all over the place, I want to have some more structure again. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. <laughs> that sure does trivialize them. Dude, poison ruins Saurians to such an extreme degree. I gotta be getting so close, so close I can almost taste it. Tremendous work. Once more. No, don't go in there. See what else? 
Ah, enemies. Oh, they're worth plenty of plenty of XP anyway. Ow! You are in need of healing. Allow me. Once right there. A good amount of discipline points and money. We're back up to almost 40k already. Now we're starting to put some good stuff in. 2200. We're so fucking close. Almost there. But we should drop a bunch of this stuff off for now. This is generally used as a material. Especially since we're here. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. But you mean the healing item? I put? Never mind. I, I gotta stop commenting every time they say something because it just, it never gets any smarter. Take a better mind than mine to solve this. Like, cause I want, I want them to have chatter. Reckon your road trade towns can make you right sick of crap. Like, I like it to feel, you know, lively. The problem is, it's just uh, a little too lively. And that it just kind of gets irritating after a while because they they talk too much. Nation's death knell. Probably hold on to that. Cast the spell Meteoron. It doesn't weigh that much. So I think I'm gonna keep I think I'm gonna keep it on me. In case we run into something really difficult, maybe like a dragon again. We could just summon meteors from the sky. Why not? Also, look at all the supplies and shit that we got. Insane. Ogre spurs, scrap iron, misshapen eye, miasmite, jasper. Might as well hold on to the vault key, too. I don't know where that's going to go, but... And we're keeping the ring of aggression. It's double seeker's token. I'm putting the other wake stone away. Hmm. I don't need that many detoxifying de decoctions. Or that many panaceas. I think we're good. All right, now we're going to drop the shit off of Kitsu. Lopian Veil. Wow, 390 black matter. That thing is colossally nasty. Oh, I, I'm I'm a sword guy. I'd much rather use swords. Just personal preference. I like my slashing shit. Hugs, but here, at least. You'll find Ledger doing business with you. Okay, so on the agenda. Go ahead and upgrade our weapon real quick. And since I am so close, I am just going to not well, hello. bother oh, there's always demand for buying weapons. more stuff for this. Because I can upgrade this armor, absolutely. But I don't really think there's a point. Whereas I might end up going back to Assassin. And so freakish mains. Oh, so for the enhancement cost, 8,300. Ouch. Ooh. Particularly near the border where quarrels occur every other day. Do come again? But once I transform into warrior, I'll make my way back out here. We'll purchase a couple more pieces of equipment. Where the heck is the pawn guild? Not pawn guild, that other thing. Vocations. Here we go. Because I don't think I've actually gone to one of these after hitting level Welcome, eight. Sir. After all, it is folly to linger on a single. That goes the collection. So so far we've got seven out of two hundred and twenty. Ring of Triumph looks like it's nice. Boosts health, stamina, and maximum carry weight. Dowsing spikes. Uh, Eternal Bond, Champion's Mantle, which doesn't look all that good. 
Legion's Might. Staff crown with a small piece of an Arisen's Heart. Pawns who equip it revive of their own accord when rendered immobile. And look at the strength and magic ratings on it. That's insane. Also the Charming Corset. Wow. That is insane defense levels. Made any progress. Okay, what you got for me? Okay, so we do have a new weapon skill. Draw and Quarter. An advanced form of gut and run that inflicts greater harm when withdrawing. Yes. I use that ability all the time against the biggins. And what is my augment? Vigor. Reduces the stamina consumed when clinging to or pinning down foes. 100% abso fucking lootly. There ain't no way that I ain't grabbing that. And I'm going to buy Warrior. Uh, I'm also going to buy... Yeah, Lethality. That's the one. Increases damage dealt when striking a target's vitals. That's nice. Endurance. Increase maximum stamina. Increases damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stance. Particularly when combining with Thief and some of those other abilities, that might actually be pretty good. Stuck into the chaos, and these nobles are really condescending. I want to <laughs> assassinate them. You know what? I bet they aren't as condescending if you're wearing, like, noble gear. Because that stuff that I got from Sven, it did say that... It, it said something along the lines of, you should wear this when interacting with nobles. It might just be flavor text. That's probably what it is. A dominion, diligence... You, I'd really like, probably not, but that's still condescension. <laughs> Murder them all. You. I do want lethality eventually. What about these? Exaltation augments your stamina recovery speed. But of course, it's all the way at the fucking top. What about this? Damage dealt when exploding a hostile target's elemental weakness. Augments your magic, so I don't care about any of that. Augments your knockdown resistance. Reduces the rate at which, at the rate at which items deteriorate. And increases the likelihood of inflicting debilitations with your attacks. Could I... So if I have a debilitating effect on my weapon, presumably that makes it worse, right? Does that track... I guess I'm trespassing, but still. Could tell me to politely, <laughs> polite me to leave. I mean, politeness doesn't really cost anything, does it? Right, I wanted a uh, Kitsu. I gotta upgrade her shit. I don't really care about any of the other shit. Perpetuation, intense, the duration of enchantments and invigorations. Sure, why not? Because she is eventually going to be a sorcerer. I don't really think I actually want to give her anything else. High Empyrean, High Leaven, High Frieger, High Flagration. I mean, all that's solid as hell. I don't really know if I have anything to spend the rest of those discipline points on. Why? Why do they just give me a billion things? Trying to get those squatters rights. Dude, that... I've been watching stuff on that crazy squatters rights bullshit. People getting kicked out of the homes that they own because some jackhole popped his way in. Forged a lease. Obnoxious. I think we're... What is, why is Kitsu so heavy? Oh, because it gave her starter gear, too. A scale band. I mean, she can just wear that, right? Yeah. She can wear that now. Okay, that kicks ass. Hey, she actually had some least, armor. You'll find a which is sad, because I haven't really been business. giving her anything. 
You just had to go by on scraps because I keep on spending it all on myself. Grievous Horns. Wow. Yeah, that's a even that's a pretty big damage boost. She can wear this. Oh, I gotta drop Reckon Grievous your Horns off. Trade towns can make you right sick of crap. Deposit. There we go. All right. Clouds, but here, we're good. At least. You Many thanks. All right. Time to see if we can make our way back. Or I guess dick around in the general area. On another note, I appreciate you carrying our heavy items, but do let me know if you need a hand. And also, how the hell did I miss this? There's one literally right here, one of the golden trove beetles. God, sometimes I'm so fucking blind. Whatever. It's fine. All right, so how much I got left? We require 2,200 discipline points. Then we can move on a warrior. And we can move on with more game. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No it harm sure is, you. lady. My darling pawn. Slave of slaves. Lay down your arms. Harpies, master. I grant you roaring flame. Oh, those guys are fucking dead. What happened over here? Ow! Wait right there. No! Say no to sleepy times! Light it on fire, quick! You truly are formidable, Arisen! Yeah, you like that? How I ran away so bravely? Got to be something worth it. <laughs> that would get you. Wow! That guy just had 2,800 on him. Just filch that guy's life here. savings. Be on your guard. Oh, high Let five, you monster! <laughs> I can't high five him after every fight. We never get anything done. No. You Say no to sleepy fight. times. Did I just get a twofer? I did just get a twofer. Suck it. Hmm. Last time I was in this area following... What was I following? I was doing something. Right, I was trying to find some lost kid that. that I did not find in time. He is very dead now. All we found were the scraps of his clothing. You know what? We're going to rest. Probably getting late in the day. I really want to fight another griffin. I don't know why I enjoy fighting those things so much. I also haven't gotten an opportunity to use uh, the new and advanced gut and run. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Me too. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Same. Ready to forge on? I want to see about making my way back to town just on foot. And we're going to see if we can kill a bunch of shit on the way. Right. I forgot about this. I don't know how to get on the other side of this. Like, something would tell me, like, I get there from above or something, but, hmm. I don't see a path in. My initial thought, this door? my initial thought was to, because I can do the one backwards jump thing, that, but I don't know if that actually brings me high enough, nor can I, like, get the angle. Like, it really doesn't want me to do this. It leads me to believe this is the wrong way to do it. Especially since, look at that. There is a ladder. So we gotta go down. 
That's what we gotta do. Presumably, hmm. Where the hell would we pop up from there? Kind of legitimately confused on that. You can count on me to fly to your aid. In hey, your how about you piss master. off? Knowing when to use. Fucking hell. For your fucking insolence. <laughs> Suck it, square. I hate that they will not fucking leave me alone. Hmm. May. Eh, that's flimsy. Damn it. That was close. Close to getting up on this archway. I just wish it wasn't so finicky. Like, it's really finicky. Does it work better if I sprint at the wall? Yes. And like that, why didn't that jump off? <laughs> why didn't that grab? This wall jump needs some work. Uh-oh. Like, it is really awkward to use. So I'm thinking what I might be able to do is pop, get the jump off of this if it'll ever actually let me fucking do it again. Okay, so if I could do that and do the explosive step or whatever, I might be able to get up on that. It's probably not what I'm supposed to do, but I uh, have set myself a challenge, I guess. What is my least useful ability? Hmm. That's actually a tough call. Technically, I think it's my counter. Or cutting wind. Because cutting wind, I just don't use at all. Equip skills without camping. Concussive step. Did I not buy? I didn't buy the better one. Let's see if I can make this happen. That does get me a pretty decent amount of height. Psychops made me into a butt pluck. <laughs> yeah, they often do that. If you're playing Thief, though, one of the quickest ways out of Scarlet Kiss is if you find yourself getting locked into that, your swift step will take you out of it. You don't have to wait for it to conclude. So basically, whenever you see him check his ass like he's looking at his feet, you can just swift step out of it. Okay. Break it from this side. No, we cannot. Really? Now? Come on. Grab the fucking wall, Arisen. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to do that much earlier. What the hell? It wouldn't let me... Oh, no. I'm hitting the wrong fucking button. That's what I'm doing. Not what I wanted to do. Come on. Oh! So close. Come on. <laughs> I made it, motherfucker. 
<laughs> Deny me, will you? Get fucked, game. I am the master of my own, all I survey. All right, now I'm gonna go put my counter back on. Hell yeah, yeah. The thing is, I do think in a couple of places, I think that's legitimately intended as a way to get around certain obstacles. Being able to effectively tr double jump, more or less. Skills without camping. Easy kill. That's not what I meant to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, easy peasy. Now we can go back in there. We can see what going down is all about. And we'll see the intended path that we were supposed to traverse just in reverse. Glad I figured to do that now. Before we switch to Warrior, because I'm pretty sure Warrior would not have been able to do that. I would have ah. preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. What just happened? Oh, I got smacked that. upside the head. Or suddenly a bunch of skelly boys. High five. Wait, is that what I was supposed to do? The ring of percipients. That is how I was supposed to get over that. And a weak stone shard. This doesn't lead anywhere. No fucking way. You're supposed to figure out how to cheese getting over that? Boost magic. Yo, Kitsu, I got a surprise. Bam. More magic power for her. Kick ass. So that is just legit the way I was supposed to get over this. Either that or fall from above. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Well, whatever, we got through it. see if there's all to be found while we're here. We got to kill a couple of things that were worth like I seventy discipline of pop. We ought to take a closer look. That's like ten percent of our goal. Ah, a nice relaxing stroll through the countryside. Now that everything in our way is basically dead. At least most everything. Look there. I aspire another statue. Make it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. Climbing the statue? Can are we allowed to climb the statue? Is that what this is supposed to be for? No. Bitches, what are you what are you talking about? Climbing it. Oh. What does this say? Let's have a look then. What does what say? The statue? Are the statues supposed to say stuff? They keep on espying statues, and I don't know how to actually interact with them. Or are they essentially just fucking with me? I'm just going to assume that they're fucking with me. My, my trust is very, very low. Uh-oh. Hey, we're fine. I probably shouldn't be going so off uh, 
path like this. Last time I did this, I got stuck and had to burn a wake stone shard. Yeah. Excuse me, moi. Hey, look, friends. Now, if only I could get down to them easily. This is not a place that I'm familiar with. Have I been up here before? I don't know that I have. I know I've been in this general area. Chest spawned back, so that doesn't tell me anything. Two grand. Not bad. Not exactly a miser's fortune, but I mean, I'll fucking take it. Bunch of oppies. Well, I'm about to connect with some place that I was earlier. Ooh, Ballista. And I did spy with my little eye a bunch of harpies that would very much like to be no 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 maybe to rush head no damn it let us take care to move as one oh it was but a trick of the light son of a bitch i fell down also where the fuck am i oh this is the ancient battleground then the trevo mine yet what's the yeah i don't know, actually. I don't know what the trouble mine is. So this is where I was supposed to enter the ancient battleground from. I entered it in reverse. Venom harpies! Avoid their venom at all costs! I grant you fire as well. No. Well. I still haven't talked to the one guy in the inn. I still haven't talked to him. I've just been dicking around killing shit. That was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. How are we to get through this door? Oh, oh no! Poison I'm poisoned! <laughs> if you don't kill gobs, you are the truth arisen. Uh, we're gonna be- we're- Use me as your the sword to hide. I'm a little bit. Maybe I should be doing the. Maybe I should be doing the main quest then, because I'm a little bit past goblin killing. I'm already at the point in the game where I'm like, hmm, maybe I should consider stage diving that fucking dragon over there. a remote. <laughs> Goblins, they're gonna be goblin on this dick. Lookable treasure we found. A fitting someone help me <laughs> okay I got you someone is being attacked master perhaps we ought to intervene and they're dead I already face at last if I might be so bold as to impose upon you again would you be willing to accompany me to the Senate I fear there are none else to whom I can oh, sure why not you. let's do more we shit to escort our top. told to rest Especially since we already cleared all the guy. Shall we be on our way? Then oh. follow me. I'll lead the way. Hold up, hold up. We're in your hand. I'm working on an answer. The shield of Vernworth. Okay, so don't get noticed by the dragon this time. We've no cause to visit a campsite as yet, methinks. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. That really is an imposing sight. Looking at the Dargan out there. You with us? Hey, idiot. Then Maintain closeness. To me, idiot. To me. So this is how I was supposed to get through the ancient battleground instead of the bass backwards way that I approached it. Having to pass through the dragon and all that. Now <laughs> go straight for the heart. Nevers. 
There he is. Luckily, I already cleared through all this shit. I opened all the auxiliary ways. So we just get to go have a straight shot. So it all really worked out. I got a couple of levels. I upgraded my daggers again, so I can try and take on... It wasn't an easy journey. But here we... All that remains is to ring the bell. Okay. Ring my bell. The Grimoire appears to be missing. Without it, this Ring is a mere bell. bell. It can do, sir, if you happen to spy the missing. Oh. I cannot fulfill my duty. It's a good thing I kept it. Because I have it on me still. Nation's death now. <laughs> Could it be? Have you found the missing Grimoire? Yeah, I, I, I found it. You're a wonder, <laughs> Yeah. Sir. I'll see to the right. Sure, why not? Ring my that bell. That should do it, eh? Ring my bell. My humblest thanks, sir. I swear I'll never shirk this sacred duty again. All right, can I have that tome, though, bro? I'd fain reward you for your aid. Heaven knows you've earned it. But I fear times have been rather tough on you. Oh, perhaps you'd... I happened upon it on our way here. I suppose it must still. Surely it must be grand, as the key is of such ornate make. Ancient battleground key. Certainly worthwhile. Well done, everyone. Yoink. Our efforts have been rewarded. Pray do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. Okay. We have completed Told to Rest. Play Archer and just find a tall rock, you'll be fine. Okay, so, hmm. We've got a fancy key for somewhere around here. Around this heezy. I don't remember when Until I was traveling through here experience. anything being locked, though. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. Yeah, I don't remember anything being locked. That's vexing. I lack information pertinent to this task. What task? We're not on a task. Oh, right. Jadeite orb Consider and all that. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Oh, I didn't happen to notice this last time. Maybe it's up top. It is not up top. <laughs> this is a dead end. So where, pray tell, is this mysterious item... That we may avail ourselves of extra loot. This ox cart was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Now, what was your the first clue, fucking genius? Be careful now. The world send the cavern. Well, I don't think it'll be in here, but. I checked most of that battleground area. Friends! I think they're all dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Oh, what is this? A grass pattern camping kit. All right, looks like we got a new thing. I'm glad I didn't buy one. Where are it at? Do burnt, burnt, burnt. Give to Kitsu. And now we can just drop the other one. I guess just give it to me. Because apparently she can't discard it. They're not allowed. Oh, we can make camp here, too, and if we were so inclined. I'm not, but... Are those bats I yes. Let us leave them be. Yeah, I wish I could, but they're going to hassle me. Plus, they're worth delicious, delicious discipline points. Now, if I was a key, 
Where would I go to? Kill the rats. Probably not this chest. I'm afraid I don't have any knowledge about that quest as yet. Oh, spiders! You require guidance. You must hire a pawn who does. I don't know where the spiders went. Must have killed them. Ah. Oh. Ah! So what? Do I just go down, I guess? Or wait. What? This is a dead end. All right. Yeah, fuck them rocks. Oh, that'll that'll really stick in its craw. That's some massive holy magic. Can I open the chest, please? They got it. At least I thought they got it. There you go. It keeps on going in the walls, damn it. I mean, I know it's a ghost. But it could fight like less of a dick bag. Is it all dead? Okay. <laughs> it should not be this hard to pick up a single piece of loot that has fallen on the ground. I am really hoping that I use this key back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I could have done no better. I can do no less in service to the arena. Well said. Damn it. I can't be getting fucking stuck on terrain. Well, I gotta wait till that's done with. No, stop going into the lightning shit. <laughs> He's good, bro. You're surprisingly bad at the sand room. That is the most lethal thing to use against pawns, is just to put that lightning trap down and then watch them. Oh god, I'm stuck waiting for a high five. Chat disconnected. Please wait while we try to reconnect you. Successfully connected. Okay, whatever. Apparently I got disconnected. Information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Yeah, apparently got disconnected. At least that's what it says on the inside of this thingy. Ooh. White cobble. I didn't see any difference. Yeah, I know. I've never seen... Have my admiration. I doubt even my own master... I've never seen that message rare. pop up. I wasn't trying to chat for a minute, though. Yeah, that was weird. Such treasures are seldom found. How exciting! My heart is fit to burst. <laughs> they sound so excited. Yeah, very strange. No! I'm possessed!
So is White Cobble that fucking Phantom, dude. Risen. I hate those in DD1. Yes. They're basically just ghosts, and they go around because I always played physical. Yeah, 100%. Same deal. Where ought we to go now? Yeah, where do we go now? This is the end of the road. I, I, got, I guess I got a bunch of shit, but... You know, you can't game. You can't just give me a fucking key. Be like, oh, man, it's a super ornate key. Well, it's got to be somewhere around. Especially when you say it's somewhere around, but the area is fucking massive. And it's not just fucking massive. It's worse than that. Because it also happens to be... There's a lot of differences in elevation. So there is a shitload of stuff to explore. It is overly narrow here, and ill-suited to combat. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peered, ears peered. Damn it! A spawn ghost. Get over here, you idiots. Got him, I guess. I will finish this here and now. All right, that works. Ooh. I got a ring of grit. Hey, level 26. Big strength increase and a sizable amount of magic defense. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so I just got a ring of grit. What does that do? Reduces stamina expended when blocking an attack with the shield. So, completely worthless for me. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. A lot of white cobble. Ooh, what is, oh, my asthmite. I haven't really seen a use for white cobble as of yet, but this is the only place I've also only ever seen white cobble. Damn it, ghosts! Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Damn it. This is the other reason, too, because they fly around all over the fucking place, and it's really irritating just to deal with them. No shit. Apparently, the ghosts can drop rift crystals, of all things. Seems to be pretty rare. The hell? Where in the fuck am I? Fuck, that's what I thought this was. Golems. Fuck. is he doing holy Jesus Christ Jiminy Christmas oh the humanity place the bomb Oh my god, it's a fucking light show. I'm just gonna hang out back here. This goes right here. The product. Do 
not give up hope. Help will come. Come on. Die, you son of a bitch. Woo. <laughs> So annoying that Cthulhu and Green Warriors can't roll by your HP I'm past the limit like in DD1. Yeah. Yeah. I understand I why they did it. I do. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such But matters. yeah. Examine. Oh, more copper ore, more magic metals. A Ode to the Sphinx. Oh, Sphinx. Oh, it rhymes. Weaponsmith and Vernworth is fucking chad too. <laughs> oh, Sphinx, thou askest what hath four legs in the morn, two at noon and three a night, from the answer is born. The means to claim a long sought boon, O oh, Sphinx, what hath four legs in the morn and two at noon, and three a night with treasure thou wouldst reward, the one who leaveth it unmarked by sword. O oh, Sphinx, four legs in the morn, two at noon, three at night. In the shrine thou awaitest a challenger of wit to delight. Okay, so it's a riddle of some kind. In case that wasn't incredibly obvious. The Shrine Corridor. Okay, so let's suss out. Ask me to go kill Gums holding weapon deliveries in their den, and he said, Oh, yeah, I did do that one. I'll pick Careful, up. I can deal with lost words, you but on a loss of a fellow life, I'm summarizing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Now ask us what have four legs in the morn, two at noon, and three at night. From the answer is born, that the means to claim a long sought boon. So we need whatever the answer this is, and we get a boon for doing it. O oh, Sphinx, what have fourth legs in the moon, two at noon and three at night? With treasure thou wouldst reward the one who leaveth it unmarked by sword. I mean, the classic of this is man. Yeah, the classic answer to this question is man did you find the sphinx lair i did not because four in the morning is being a baby and crawling two at noon is the majority of your life because you're walking bipedal and then three and night is at the end of your life walking with a cane the answer is man but that's the old answer i don't know if that's actually what they have in mind. Also, I am apparently heavy. Heavy. Oh. Hey. Why can't I drop this? Might you consider Oh, it's because I'm running. Dude, I have so much of this. Let's go ahead and give that to Kitsu. Give us a Lightening little bit of... your pack, Master. If you feel overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. Oh, you always going to the Dayman melody? Actually, that wasn't the Dayman. That was, uh... Flash! Ah! Savior of the universe! Hehehehe. <laughs> So this is a shrine of some kind. It's like, it's from like an old ass show. Old Flash something. It's before, it's well before my time. I just remember it because it's been referenced a lot. But I've never actually seen the show that it's supposed to be from. You know what, instead of doing this at night, let's go ahead and climb up here. Let's meet at the camp. We'll see what this place looks like in the morning. Make camp. 
Maybe rides on the flying scooter thing and fights that fucking wizard. I have no idea. <laughs> Sounds right. Oh, dude, look at this camp. If you require guidance, that looks so much better. Look at the fancy digs. Hell yeah. <laughs> Flash Gordon, yeah, Flash Gordon. Hoppies! I know it. Yeah, I never ended up watching it or anything like that. But yeah. I used to watch it with my papa when I was a kid. With me, papa. Ugh. I don't want to fight harpies for the billionth fucking time. Alright, how close am I? 383. We're, we're right there. <laughs> Mayhaps we'll find the discipline we'll need at the top of the mountain shrine. Yeah, I'm so they're gonna call my grandpa's papa and Mima. I I don't know, I just call him dad and mom. It's a door. Presumably this is the shrine door of which we must Oh. Here's the lair of the Sphinx and all that, I guess. Oh to the Sphinx. In the shrine, thou awaitest a challenger of wit to delight. It's man. The answer is man. As far... Dude. Bruh. <laughs> I'm suddenly feeling self-conscious about my answer. Now that I am at the lair of the Sphinx. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Many have tried. And as you can plainly see... All have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. Yeah, sure, why not? I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. This sounds like fun. I trust I All have right. your attention. If so, take your place and we shall begin. Answer the Sphinx's riddles. <laughs> so you know what we got to do? You know, riddles are very hit or miss with me. Sometimes I just fucking nail them. Other times I don't. And it's just like, I can't. I'm not going to look it up, though. I, I legitimately, this, this is the this is the fun parts of video games. It, it actually will not let me save either. It won't let me save. It doesn't want you to save, scum it. I'll do it. Your resolve is commendable. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? <laughs> All right. So we have the riddle of eyes, the riddle of madness, the riddle of wisdom, the riddle of conviction, and the riddle of rumination. Our eyes are our allies. Yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Our eyes are allies, yet oft they do they betray. For eyes tell lies, so I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door. Oh, that's a physical that test. Which is of greatest value. Hmm. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. <laughs> my brain, my brain's already cooking. Don't tell me what to grab. I 
But I'll let you go about your business. Okay, so here's my thought. If I just walk out of here, does that mean I walked out with my life? That which is most valuable to me? <laughs> I lack information pertinent to this task. Nope. Okay, so it's not that type of trickiness. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Yeah, the problem is I don't know how deep they're going to go. Yet eyes. Eyes, they lead, lead astray. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our way. Must not let down our guard. Attack now, while the open attack is next to his favorite friend. Quickly now. Well, that was... <laughs> that was convenient. <laughs> I'll save you. Go where your help is needed. Bear in mind that the brute will seek out... A the rotten scrag of bees. About your camera angle. I will after the beast is slain. Wherever the beast is. Die, 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 die. Got him. <laughs> Sobering tonic. And it's time to now we can properly exploratorize. Who's dying? No harm shall come to you. No harm Thank should... you kindly. I did not mean to trouble you. Be at ease. I am here by your side. 
Was she dying or something? That is generally my problem with riddles, is I my tend world. to... I tend to overthink. And usually kind of go past where I'm supposed to be going. If that makes sense. Also, let's drop some of this ore and shit. Not drop. That other thing. Yeah, Andrew. There you go. Never did I dream we would come upon such a rarity. How exciting. My heart is fit Well, you just burst. need to know where to look. This is where we had fallen down several times. Hmm. I didn't get to finish looking through this. One of us has been down since time. Dude, stop it! He won't stop yeeting me into the sky. I don't like it. Particularly because he doesn't really seem to have a solid idea of when to actually do it, when and or where. Hmm. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. A rotten apple. <laughs> So clearly, that is not the thing that we are here for. So where does this lead us? Ow. And this just leads us back to the front. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Both the unnerving ability to swallow people up, allowing them to be carried about with ease. So I can put somebody inside this fucking thing? Now, do I need to put my pawn inside this thing or something to answer the riddle? <laughs> because that would piss me off. That would piss me off if it's something very specific. Okay. I'll put myself inside of it. And yeah, that was simple. That was just... I didn't... See, even if I found it that early, though, I still would have gone through the rest of the dungeon. Come to think of it, our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. Also, this that whole thing is neat as fucking hell. I say we forge on together for as long as we may. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which... So... This is your choice. The greatest worth your eyes described. God, that's fucking creepy. Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. 
As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. This whole thing is pretty fucking Connect cool. Connect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. I like this depiction of the Sphinx. Because this thing definitely seems like it fucked me up. Love. Like, I do not want to fight this thing. <laughs> oh boy, a wake stone. Like, I like the whole vibe of this. So, you you got here, THC? Or did you just hear about this? Come to test your wits. You're the riddle of madness. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. Looked it up in case you didn't want to fail. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to do that, man. Okay, here's the problem. I don't know who my most beloved is, but I won't tell you the answer unless you ask me to. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin ruin your time. I mean, I suppose you're already watching me do this. Okay, so the riddle of madness makes sense. The problem is, I don't know. I don't really have a good way to gauge who my beloved is. It should kind of be my pawn, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk that. I don't give a shit. I'll try it either way. Come to test your wits. The riddle of wisdom. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. I am a lost child. For kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. Hmm. Okay. Come to test your wits. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize, and thence elude your ponderous demise. You may hear my riddles as oft as you please. The riddle of conviction. Come to test your wits. All right, and then the riddle of is rumination. Ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps. Fuck. Can. You, might uh, you son of a bitch. Some days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Fuck. There's no way I'm gonna remember that. I've only found seven of them, but. Fuck. <laughs> Also, you know what I really wish I had right now? A fucking port crystal. A port crystal would be right fucking nice right about now. I have no idea where I found my first Seeker's token. Not even the faintest, foggiest fucking clue. That is not exactly information that I was expecting to hold inside my brain. Where the glory is? You'll want to remove that.
So, you should really keep in mind right now, THC, where you found your first Seekers token. Because apparently, it's going to be actually important. I think you might be right. I think that is where I found my first. It was in Melv. I think you are correct. I know which one was my first. I found a Griffin pinion. I think you're right. I think it was in Melv. Yeah, I think it was while I was dicking around. Let's my magic the mental boon. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass getting back up there, though. Holy fuck! This is. Doofer. That was hard one. I said the answer to one of the other riddles too. Enhances our chances against future adversaries. Look there. He thinks I spy all to use. We ought to take it. Also, where the hell am I? Oh god, I'm so far away from every place. Closer look. Also, there's no way I can get back up. Oh wait. No, I can't fucking run up here. Ah, I'll take that. That sucks. We might find a use for it. Wait, is is that what I need? Is that what they want? My most valuable item? A fucking port crystal? Hey! Well, that's convenient. I'm glad I didn't use a fairy stone, actually. You said the an I said the answer to another one of the riddles. Or is Ulrika, is Ulrika my beloved, who's also in Melv? Oh no no! I I know it's not a a fairy stone. I said a port crystal. Significantly more valuable. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Right because if I recall, that one's the uh, the thing of conviction. I'll work as a possibility. I will say that, but not necessarily her. Is it me? Am I my most beloved? Oh, he's dead. Well, in any case, I gotta go back to fucking town. But first... Maybe... Am the fighter miser? That's... Isn't that Sir Leonard or something? I thought Ulrika was the, the, the woman who tends to your wounds. Whom you saved at the beginning of the game from the dragon by jumping out in front. Well done, Master. All right. Dragon round two. Now that we've got a couple of levels under our belt. Gee, I wonder how well this is going to go. I don't remember. I just remember the Fighter Meister starts the name of the U. <laughs> hey! Dude, 
Why is he climbing all stupid? Dude, why is it climbing all stupid? I'm stuck on him. The fuck is going on? His geometry leaves much to be... Exactly what I thought he was gonna do. We can ill afford to rush headlong into battle. Let us watch our foes carefully. I'll save you. <laughs> no, 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 Are you fucking kidding me? He missed with the first one that I would have countered. Dude, that sucks. Damn it. Suck less. Are you fucking kidding me? He's not even aiming at me and he's still fucking hitting me. Come on, get on! Dude, that fucking, this is irritating. Sure, you just use a fucking wake stone. It's irritating because I can't just... My character refuses to do what he's supposed to be fucking doing. Wear this code. It has a means to control pawns. We cannot afford to fall prey to such attacks. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Don't try that. I got you. Why did that hit me? Uh, that is... Okay, so the problem I kind of have with that fight is that... I, I exposed its heart. I spent more time chasing around and reviving my pawns than I did actually fighting it because they just can't stay alive. And then when I did finally get its weak point exposed, it didn't matter because just for some god-awful reason, it wouldn't attack the spot I wanted it wanted it to. Like, that's really irritating. Particularly, you'd think they'd have a better grasp on when you're climbing on shit. 
how it's going to attempt to actually finish climbing. Look at that. He's already fucking down. One swing. What the hell? Why am I in its mouth? Get up, idiot. Come on. We're giving it to him. Let's not do that, Andrew, and say that we did. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to grab onto his head so I can get on the back of his head again. Andrew, you really suck at this, man. I don't know. I don't know what has struck in me. Where is it? I know I have panaceas in this bitch. Unconscious? Okay, that rendered me unconscious. Get up! Damn it. Dude, trying to get these fuckers revived? Somebody else, god damn it. Motherfucker, die. Dude, get him up. My consciousness. Wait. Pray stop me. Let's not bring him up. Ah. 
I'm not attacking his head. Come on. Oh, he's doing bad shit. Just depleted my stamina with that. What the fuck? I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so he called down meteors and he just annihilated everybody. Cool. Excellent. Get him up. Oh my god. That sweep. Get up. Get up. No, 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 no. Dude. Him being able to... He just deletes your fucking stamina. That sucks. Are you kidding me? His heart just fucking disappeared again. Dude, what the fuck? He can hit himself with his own meteors. You'd think he'd be safe from the giant meteors on top of his fucking head. But you are not. You would be mistaken to think such a fool thing. No, are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? I saw the prompt for use wake stone. I hit up and it didn't go up. Are you are you actually fucking kidding me? All that fucking work. Man. So it'll accept inputs. It'll accept a cancellation or an acceptance input. But guess what it won't do? It won't accept directional inputs until it's been up for a couple of seconds. That's stupid. A uh, griffin just dropped on me. Oh, I'm going to camp. What up, Ivan? Hello, how's the game and how many hundreds of dollars you spent on? Well, uh, I'm going to be homeless, Ivan. I, I've spent my, my life savings. Uh, everything. I needed those rift crystals, dog. I, I just needed them. I saw it. I've got 400 port crystals. Okay, all, all kidding aside, I am going to make a video on the microtransactions and particularly why it's it's still bad for a game to have game like this to have them like it, it really is they don't need it it is really just to dredge the money out of your wallet stay 
Stab him in the face! Just to milk some dollars out of your wallet. Yup. And he smacked me like a bitch. Stay with me. Wait a moment. What? I'm not the vessel. Dude, people are overreacting. Particularly because they they dragged it out of nowhere. And I think Well, I think people are going nuts to what it actually is. Are you fucking Are you fucking kidding me? He hit the guy in front of me. See, I still don't like that. Yes, it is stupid people's fault if they want to buy it. The problem, fundamentally, is it creates a conflict of influence from the developer. Like, I used to be in the boat where if it's just aesthetic DLCs and shit, it's not that big of a deal. But as I've thought about it more and as I've seen the effects that instantiating those things in the game have caused to happen in other games, because it oh, that's how it always starts. It always starts with aesthetic shits as shit, and then it moves into, well, it's not. It's just convenient stuff. And before you know it, the game is inundated with it. It's just constantly fucking choked with all of it. The problem, like I said, it's a conflict of interest. Effectively, you're changing the monetization model from, so, as it exists right now, a game being good is the depending factor upon whether or not you buy it. They make their money We've no cause to visit a campsite as yet, methinks. by making a good game. Tired from our labors. That means they put all their extra resources, everything that they get, all their profits into continually improving and getting a better game, it's including hiring people that have an interest in making a great game. When you introduce any amount of microtransaction, it doesn't matter if it's pay to win, it doesn't matter if it's just aesthetic, it doesn't matter if it's just, you know, in-game currency that My doesn't do anything. Combining materials. Fuck off, Robin. It changes the monetization structure that they are now getting paid for microtransactions, not because the game is good. And microtransactions are the biggest money making thing in the world because you can make you can make one piece of DLC that costs maybe five hundred dollars to produce, if that, for like an aesthetic thing. And you can sell it infinitely because it's not a real product. So they they incentivize, they are incentivized to make the game just good enough. Just good enough to keep you in the door. And it's like a boiling frog scenario. It's a boiling frog scenario because they turn it up every single, single time. People are going to review bomb a really good game. People think it's a bad game. The game doesn't sell as well. We don't get a third. Unfortunately, like, that's a trap they set for themselves. That's not people's fault. How you... This is how you punish a developer... And I, I hate that it's this way. I really do. But the microtransactions are part of the game. I don't want them to be there, but they are a part. Even if you don't have to interact with them at all, it doesn't matter. They're there. They are part of this game's identity. And the only way that you can tell a developer that to stop doing this is to hurt their sales. If you don't buy the microtransactions, that doesn't dissuade them. Microtransactions cost fucking nothing for a company to implement. That's why they just leave them there. Because if even one person buys them, they've made their money back. So the way that you tell them that, no, we weren't going to stand for this, is you hurt their sales. Their actual physical game sales. It sucks. It really sucks. Because effectively, they get to hold the game hostage. Because you are absolutely correct, THC. If the game doesn't sell as well, 
we don't get a third. And that that's terrible. But the problem is the game developers put us in an unwinnable situation where they get to hold the game hostage. It's sort of like if you're talking to somebody and every time you criticize them for anything, they said, well, I guess I'm going to go kill myself. They were like, that's not fair to you because they are putting an unreasonable amount of weight on every single criticism. So now you can't talk to them honestly at all. It's the same type of thing. You'd be like, oh, well, if, I mean, if, if you don't buy our microtransaction, if you, if you review on the game, you're not going to get a third. I'm just going to, you know, jump off a bridge with the entire series. Like it. People do have a tendency to overreact. But I think the overreaction is due to the underreaction that has been going on for a long time. Because people have just been kind of putting up with it. For so long and with what we've seen bethesda go through with blizzard go through with konami go through konami's the biggest one konami has shifted a large amount of their development over to making shit gotcha games so the real cruel thing is that if the microtransactions do well enough we also don't get a third game because it's not going to be the game that you want it's going to be a vehicle to deliver microtransactions and that's not the game that we're signing up for. Imagine if Monster Hunter eventually devolved into that. And that, they've been shoehorning more and more. That shop is fucking huge. And it, I, I really wish, I, I supremely wish it was, don't like it, don't buy it. But the problem is, like, this stuff does not exist in a vacuum. And I... You gotta do really shit things, because I am totally of the conclusion this is a fantastic game it really is and here's the kicker too the developers are probably not to blame the developers if they had their way would probably have said no fuck your microtransactions i don't want them in my game because it's going to compromise it it compromises the integrity of the artistry that went into a game like this So really who we we have to punish the developers and the accountants at the same time. Yeah, right. I'm in agreement. I just think it's dumb. People are saying it's a bad game, like the YouTube videos have seen, like it isn't 60 F. Oh yeah, that, that stuff is don't get me wrong. It should be better uh, it should be better optimized. And the shitty thing is those conversations are mixing. So it's uh I forget what the fallacy is called. It, it's effectively when you when someone is able to dismiss one because, yeah, it oh, man, it can't run on 60 FPS or blah, blah, blah. And they combine that argument into the microtransaction one. So they're able to dismiss both arguments by only dismissing the least reasonable one. But it is not a bad game. It's actually quite a fantastic game. I mean, yeah, there's little graphical problems like look at looking at this, you know, look at the spamming, the crazy spastic shadow. A ballista is a ranged weapon. This could grant us an edge in battle. <laughs> and then sometimes well. fucking pawns. A ballista is a ranged weapon. Yeah, thanks. But yeah, it, it, I really wish that we did still exist in a day and age where we could have nuanced arguments. We're going to be like, yeah, I am really happy with the game. I just supremely wish that they didn't add microtransactions. And we could have that discussion with the developer and be like and the developer would be like hey you know we, we heard you we understand you don't want the microtransactions in there we're going to work on phasing those out but that's not what's going to happen I really wish we could just ask him like I, I <laughs> wouldn't that be great Hey, could you guys try, stop trying to pick my pocket? And they're like, oh, you, you don't like that? You don't like having this hanging over you? Oh, shit, dog. I didn't know. <laughs> a ballista's a range weapon. Write that down. Write that down. I'm happy we even got a sequel. And I am, too. And I think, but I do think the microtransactions are going to hurt the sales of the game. More so than even the performance issues. Because if, if I'm reading the zeitgeist, people are fucking sick of it. I, I know I'm really sick of it. 
I am I am so tired of being there is nowhere I can go on the internet without being fucking marketed to. It's like a constant haze holding over me. There is no safe place that I can just fucking exist without something by this, by this, by that. And even every video game that I play, aside from Elden Ring, and strangely enough, Cyberpunk 2077, though, you know, getting past the problems with that fucking game. I just want to not be so mentally guarded all the time. And the sequels lived up in his faith with the original. Yeah. Like I said, if anything, I wish the developers themselves would fight harder against, because I guarantee you the developers are not the ones who added this. It's effectively the publisher. The publisher shoehorn forced them to shoehorn this shit in. And they're they're not saying no. They need to say no. Why am I not jumping? Why am I not jumping? Come on, climb up on the head. But yeah, it the really the real problem is that we're just stuck in an unwinnable situation. There's more to be happy about and thankful that there is, and I just want to be this repeat of DD1 where we don't see another installment. And I just got lightning to bunch in the face. There's more to be happy and thankful than there isn't. I just don't want it to be a repeat of DD1 where we don't see another installment for 12 years. Yeah, same. But the problem is somewhere the, the fight is gonna need to be fought. I don't want it to be on, the, on a game that I really enjoy. On, bring him back. Damn it. Get off me. Off me. Eh. Eh. Ow. <laughs> take all my green warish. So what I do hope that what the developers do take away from this is that people don't want to see this shit in their fucking games anymore. What? Apparently, he douses his chest in fire, too. Dude, where the fuck am I? I keep on getting shoved off his chest like I'm grabbing other crap. But yeah, I, I've actually written the script for a video to just kind of call into... Why microtransactions are bad, and hopefully, I don't expect my video to accomplish all that much, but. Damn it. I don't think I'm gonna get a good enough repeat of that one fight that I did. Okay, we got we got to get stamina back. We need stamina in a bad fucking way. I wish I was faster on the ground, you know. Dude, 
I am going ham on his heart. And he's still not going down. dead <laughs> all right we got a couple of salubrious uh thingies back are you fucking kidding me how did i dodge that R revive please okay bail 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 Guys, I need you to get away from the explosions. I should really be calling them to me. He's about to light me on fire, isn't he? Yep. And she just gets torched immediately. Come on, get up. Get up, idiot. Shadowheart, you really suck. Come on, get up. Get up on his skull. I think Shadowheart's gonna die. fucking trying, but it won't let me crawl over there. Dude, this climbing system needs some work. Okay, do I have a way to get more stamina back? Have you play Baldur's Gate 3? Yes, I have. Excellent game. No microtransactions at all. <laughs> I have not beaten it. And that killed me. Cool, cool, cool. And that deleted my stamina. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I gotta get Kitsu back up. Shadowheart's dead. We just gotta deal with it. Stop interrupting me when I'm doing shit, you jackhole. You know what? We're going to use our Wake Stone. The only, my only problem with Baldur's Gate 3 is that it uses 5th edition and that I can't do enough cool shit. Well, they're about to die. Damn it. It is very unsafe below him. What? Okay, so when he gets lower and lower on health, he just does shit. Get up, you fucking moron. Holy shit. Get up. Dude, that sucks. Why does his roar remove our stamina? I call hacks. Dude, 
Dude, this sucks. I am like out of everything. I think I am legitimately out of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. We can't beat him. We just don't have the shit. I'm done trying. Fuck me, man. I had to try, you know? Predominantly what I would, man, what I would really, really enjoy is if it was just such a, it was just such a Pandora's box that got opened, you know, gave it the old college try. I gave it more than the old college try. Uh, I did that shit over and over again until I was blue in the fucking face. But I definitely want, looks to be a good spot for I wish things. developers would stand no, up for themselves a little bit more. Because for, definitely from what I can tell, you know, when developers are allowed to talk about it, because they aren't a lot of the times, they don't want microtransactions in their games. Because of course they don't. Much in the same way that if you were, you know... Working for one of your friends, and you said at the end of all of it, be like, hey, can I have five bucks? It compromises helping somebody, you know? Stay with me, Arisen. Compromises your artistic vision. It. not good for anybody i mean it's go good for somebody and it's not good for the developers and it's not good for the customers it is specifically good for a bunch of parasitical fucks who have latched on to a successful business and are just trying to get their money and then get out they don't give a fuck about games they don't give a fuck about customers they just want money and that's not a that's not a thing that's unique to games either that's every industry ever. If there's a successful industry, you got a bunch of bloodsuckers that want to ruin it for everybody. They're basically thieves. And it sucks that they've integrated themselves so well into the video game industry. But unfortunately, there's not really a solid way. It, because they're so well integrated too, there's not really a solid way of just like getting them out without hurting everything around them. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Is that a statue I aspire over yonder? We ought to take a closer look. My hope is that because they see what's happened, they just kick, <laughs> jump kick a sorry at the side of the cliff. And yeah, that's all developer though. That's all developer. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, my The producers and all that, the publisher had nothing to do with that shit. Other than providing the initial seed funds. Which are important. But hopefully Hopefully the pencil the the, the guys that are the bean counters behind the scenes see what's been happening and they take the right message from it that hey stop doing this shit we're really fucking tired of it That's my message, that's my sincere hope if human history is anything to look at and uh understand the trends no, they probably aren't going to take the right message from it. 
and they're probably going to double down even harder on microtransactions. Which sucks. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. That's what they're doing with Tekken. With Tekken 8 when it came out. Because unfortunately they might, they will probably get enough people that either just don't care. And the reason that they don't care is because it's not harming them right now. And unfortunately, most people are not forward thinking enough to actually see where something could be. Or to even worse, remember a time before. Sometimes it's difficult to remember that, you know, as I get older, there's people that have been playing video games their entire lives, and microtransactions are just a thing. They're, to them, imagining a game without microtransactions, that's, that's insanity. That doesn't exist. Games have microtransactions, full stop. So essentially telling them of a time before, a time when not only did that not exist, but every time a company tried to put them in, they were very rightfully brigaded against. Yeah, normalization. It happens. And it's because they were not punished for trying. They weren't punished enough every time they tried. It was basically like a slap on the wrist. Hey, don't do this anymore. And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we learned our lesson. We're not going to do it. And then immediately in the next fucking game, what do they do? They try it again. Because the last time they got a slap on the wrist. So if you look at it from their perspective, okay, so if we don't do it, nothing happens. If we do do it, Worst case scenario, nothing happens. We get some bad press for a couple of weeks. And then, potentially, we rake in money hand over fucking fist. So, of course, what are they going to do? They're going to keep trying. They're going to try over and over and over and over again until it works. And what do you know? 20 years later, it fucking worked. Mine... So the next time we visit the Sphinx, I'll leave it there. But most importantly, we have a thing to attend to. And that is we are to become a warrior. Welcome, sir. After all, it is folly to linger on a sink. Yeah, ultimate masterful kill. Form of easy. They're going to be employed in mid fucking air. I'm not going to buy that right now. We're going to buy Verve. Augments your strength, baby. Yeah. Yeah, boy. But yeah, I, I do firmly believe. I, I. Man, I wish. I wish that it didn't happen the way that it did but it fucking did because we didn't do enough as we didn't do enough as customers and developers didn't do enough within their own companies to keep these blood suckers from keep the blood suckers from getting into their into their shit oh so she's level 9 right yeah she shall now become a sorcerer uh we don't need to go to the equipment menu just yet Weapon skills, salamander. So we can still keep her with high leaven and high frigor. What about augments? She can't buy any augments right away. Bursting bolt. Sure, why not? Thundermine. Oh, is this that one that I keep seeing where they create the field? Yep. That one sucks. I hate dealing with that. And flame runs for time and deals continuous damage to any target it touches. 
I'm going to go with Thundermine. For her. And now it is time. Time to embrace that which we that which we must. We must become. Change your vocation. Another achievement. The equipment menu, not yet. Weapon skills. So we got Skyward Sunder. A nice big upward sweep. Rending sweep. Okay, so that's our spin. And bellow, which I don't give a shit about. Bulwark. Reduces damage taken from hostile targets during a charge attack. Sure, why not? Bellow, yeah, I don't give a shit about. So, rending sweep. Equip rending sweep. Eh, how do we want to do this? So, Skyward Sunder, I'd like to be on the Y. So, rending can be on X, then. Your vocation, when there are so many exciting... Always a pleasure. Our now we foes will quail in the wake of your fierce and blows, Master. Strike well. Know that we shall aid you as needed. Also, we should probably replace our other pawns. <laughs> so I'm going to piss again, which... Holy fuck, it's been like three hours since I took a break. <laughs> your trade towns can make you right sick of crowd. Okay, let's deposit all our garbage. Garbage. Ancient's death now. I am going to keep holding on to that. Miasmite. Dude, we got a lot of stuff on this journey. And look at our money. We are so paid. Ring of Grit. Oh, right, right. I forgot I picked that up a while ago. I just do firmly wish that the more the, the casuals, the people who are, you know, do gaming just as strictly a hobby, and they, they're not invested in in the community or any of that stuff. I do wish that they had a better understanding of why gamers as a whole have such a... Uh, what's the word? Uh, disgust towards microtransactions. And that it's very much rightfully earned. It's not. The problem is pe most people can't explain why microtransactions are bad. And the problem is because you have to get down into the weeds. And I don't know if a lot of people have spent all that much time thinking about why it is in fact bad. It's not a simple answer. Morning Tide, Savage Reextract. I should probably hold on to one of these. Just so I can use it. I probably, You know what? If I would have used it against the dragon, I probably would have had a much better time. I'm going to say, how, how are you liking the game? Dude. All the stuff aside, of uh, like I, I've been talking about like the the bad microtransactions. It's, it's a bad part of the game. Optimization really needs some work. Um... Well, there was another thing, too. I can't remember what it was. That stuff aside, this game is fucking great. <laughs> I am the ants in the pants of every fucking giant monster. And uh, I'm crawling all over them. I'm doing all types of terrible things to them. It, it's, it feels great. It is a fantastic feeling experience. And I have been thoroughly enjoying myself. But here, at least. I do just wish it didn't come with want. that extra baggage. All right. Now we get to withdraw some shit. First things first. Flamberge versus the Flamberge is a little bit better. Except for that knockdown power. What the fuck is that knockdown power? Holy shit. I don't know. Going to town on their chunk. Yup. Absolutely. So I would definitely, like... Don't get the microtransactions. And I definitely understand people not buying it because the, it has the predatory shit in it. But it is a fun game. I hope the I hope the bean counters and such get the message. Man. 
It this does weigh a lot more. I think I'm not gonna put it on solely because of how much it weighs. Holy fuck. And it yeah, though it is technically better. Weighty in the extreme and the concussive force of the max. I'm also not a hammer guy. Should I do it anyway? Well, her, she's just straight up getting the, the fire staff. In addition. All right, then have fun. And thanks for stopping by, my mans. I appreciate it. Plate armor. This stuff looks pretty good. Mayhaps I won't have to actually... Oh, these are like the same. Tribal brace. They're about the same weight, too. So, I guess we'll grab the plate armor since it looks more partyful. Bird Greaves. Ooh, Bandit Greaves. Wow, that is that tanks our magic defense. Holy shit. I kind of like having magic defense. Some amount. Miner's Hosen. And the rest of the stuff we don't care about. I'm going to try it Horizon Forbidden West. Probably not. I was going to try the original one when it came out for PC, but uh, then it ran into... The most ridiculous, like, if you want to talk optimization issues, I was literally getting three frames per second on the fucking title screen. <laughs> that game was fucking unplayable. And quite frankly, I, from what I saw of it and what I read afterwards, it's really not a game for me. And when I say that, like, it's very much tailored to a, a more casual audience, and that's fine. That's totally fine. It's just means it's I'm not going to have as good a time with it. Like more so I'm just going to be I would like it. Eh, maybe, maybe we'll maybe maybe we'll give it a shot once I'm through with this. Promise we got we got a lot we got a lot on our plate. <laughs> so much shit to get through. Pleasure doing business. Now let's let's get clothed. I didn't take a weapon out. Equip. Oh, man, look at that. We're looking slick already. I still do need a weapon. Interested in my wares? You don't get what's coming to you. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Because I took a swing at the air. This dude's freaking out. Also, it's a big monster, really, really good, like Elder Ring Good or Dragon's Dog. My God, really? From what I saw of like the first one, that and of course it's wrapped up in the whole. <laughs> they made her weirdly. Her design definitely doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, because it's not because she's a, a woman or any of that crap. And then they're like really chubby in the face. And every person, because I've met quite a few outdoors people. Like, when you do lots of hiking, essentially what she does, which is very hunter-gatherer, yeah, you don't have... You got fat, like, nowhere on your body. <laughs> Certainly not in your face. Those people are lean machines. Reckon your trade towns can masculinize her on purpose. Crowds, but here, at least, you'll find a bit of... Which is a weird thing. There have been, there have been women hunters... And they don't look particularly masculine. You don't have to look masculine to be physically strong. <laughs> Dude, that thing weighs a fuck ton. It is better, though. Uh... I don't know what to do. Because this also has one upgrade on it. This one does not. You know what? Fuck it. We're going. We're going hammer time. Pleasure doing. Maximum business. fucking hammer time. Bam! That is a big fucking mallet. Reckon your trade towns can make you right sick of crap. 
And we can drop all this stuff, which is not... It's not going to replace it. So we're stuck at average pretty much all the time. Oh, Thankfully, we do have quite a few curatives on us. Doing business. Interested in my wares? I find myself hard pressed to respond. This mallet just looks wrong. It looks wrong, right? Especially with how it wiggles on me. Well, oh, there's always All right, now let's see what we can get. Enhance this for money. 1,500 goes up to 451. Significantly less weight. Southron Iron. I have not seen that yet. First, I want to see, can we get better armor? Winged Salad. That is better... Pretty much all around. Sergeant's Armit, also better. Pretty much all around except for... Well, it looks shittier. It doesn't look as fantastically clean. Oh, we should get uh, boots. Little booties. Did any of you leave other head where they talked about the main character artistic direction? Or did they just mocap the actress face but then masculinized her? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, this, this is an this is an outfit that says I'm ready for adventure. See, they will be completely intimidated by my cod piece. <laughs> when I'm climbing on the monsters, they're gonna feel my balls scrape on the back of their neck. <laughs> you ever said that by adding weight and masculinity to Elias Vice, they added the look of strength and intimidation. then they don't know what strength and intimidation look like. <laughs> Actually. For one, intimidation is in the eyes. It's in... Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. It's in the... Uh, intimidation and strength lie in the eyes and posture entirely. Your face doesn't have a whole lot to do with it. Because I've seen... Like, you would be surprised at how many people that look babyface can be very intimidating. It is, it's all about demeanor. But essentially, putting, putting that weight in her face actually makes her look more childlike. It makes her look kind of dopey. On Zero Dawn, it comes from, comes from your jaw. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you've seen the picture of, of the Ultra Chad. He's got a jaw to like fucking bang. She looks like she's related to American Dad. Yeah. To Stan Smith. Oh wow. This looks pretty clean. But yeah, uh it she looks they can say why they did it, but I think the reason that people latch onto it, it's not because she looks masculine, it's because people, because she looks uglier and that crap. She looks dopey. Like, it doesn't look right. <laughs> she certainly doesn't look intimidating or masculine. Like, if that's what they were going for, they fucking missed the mark by quite a lot. The problem, of course, comes in that I think a lot of people are just really bad at articulating themselves. Oh, yeah, dauntless greaves. We're full of daunt. <laughs> just scrape, scrape my junk. So, so, so gently on the back of the, the nape of their neck when I climb on the monsters. We're going to go with the raptor claws. I want to look good. <laughs> or every other day. Okay, so we've got that. What about the chest piece? Oh, that looks clean. Also, dominion armor. Oh, we can't wear that. Intrepid scale coat. That looks pretty nice, too. This is better overall defense. This is quite a bit lighter. Ooh. Look at that armor. That looks good. That looks real good. Established dominance by tracking her falls all over the dragon. Yup, dragging these nuts. Dude, the wild eagle padded armor looks good, too. We can't wear it. I think I'm going to go with the intrepid scale coat. That look, this is a clean fucking look. 
except for the fact that I can see my tum tums. I don't want to be able to see my tum tums. This does look pretty good. We got it like a dark night thing going on. It's just it's significantly heavier, but we're gonna go with the dark night shit. But purchase, hell yeah. It is also technically the better piece of equipment. Um, heraldic cape. Pioneer's cape. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. the commander's mantle. Now that this looks fucking clean. Also looks cool AF. Dude, we're, we're, we're doing it up. The Wayfarer's cape is technically better. But this, it's, it's hard to argue with just the raw chadness of this piece of equipment. Yeah, I need it. Quit purchase? Hell yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm already heavy. I'm going to be basically not be able to fucking move. Is the sergeant's arm met? I kind of wish we had a better looking helm. The sergeant's arm, it kind of sucks. It is better. It's also probably lighter. All right, let's see if we can enhance some of this shit. <laughs> so it's not so goddamn heavy. This plate. That's a grand uh, gold ore. Bam, another enhancement right there. Hooligan ore and south run iron. That ain't happening. Misshapen eyes. Hell yeah. Rugged bone and gold ore. Bam, all the way to the tippy top. The raptor claws. Copper stone. Hell yeah, we got that too. Great griffin claws and dappled ores. Fuck yeah. We're set. Also, apparently all this took was Saurian skills and goblin horns. Now, what is my final way? We're at average. We are just barely at average because we're so fucking heavy. I have... I have no... Okay, so we also are carrying some extra shit that we can get rid of. Let's see what our final tally is. We can't afford to cut corners. The only thing that looks wrong here, you know what I'm going to do? It pains me to do it a little bit. I'm putting the sword on. Trade towns can because it is like significantly crowds, lighter. And I think I'll deal with the loss in a deposit items you have least. equipped. But I mean, it's such a massive difference. It's like a difference of like four kilograms. Uh, let's drop some of this shit off. Bam. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so that puts us down to Many average pounds. already. And we've got the extra 10 pounds on. That looks a little bit cleaner, too. Your road, I like those lines. Can make you right sick of crowds. Deposit. We're broke as fuck again. Okay. So we're just barely into light if we don't have anything on. I can deal with that. I can live with it. But here, at least, pleasure doing business with. To get this level of warrior drip, like. We look like we're here to fuck shit up. Which is true, because we are here to fuck shit up. What does this well, flamberge take to upgrade? Weapons. Red wolf fangs, it, which I have no idea where red wolves are. Red wolves. We also need some new pawns. This looks better than the hammer. Yeah. Totes. What does this guy sell? Oh, right. He wants the, the jadeite orb and all that crap. Oh, right. I forgot about equipping shit on Kitsu, didn't I? My poor, long-suffering companion. <laughs> because I never get her anything. 
I just kind of give her my my scraps, the poor girl. She she doesn't even have pants on. And this robe doesn't cover enough. The poor girl. Interested in my wares? So Here's the real question. Can you all trade when do I get Ark of Obliteration? Sick of crowds. <laughs> Here, at least. When do I get it? When are you going to give me Ark of Obliteration, game? Give it to me. This I decree. Give it to me. You'll find a bit of peace. Pleasure doing business. Also, uh, Kitsu herself just got a colossal damage upgrade. Like, to a point of absurdity. Because that weapon that she put on, I've never upgraded her from the base bitch staff. Well, oh, now she will do weapons. the damage. Rousteen. Yeah, it's like double damage. Threshing Blaze. Oily Slime and Freakish Mane. So we got the scale. I don't really want to upgrade like the Magician's Coat and shit. The 15... Thousand. Where quarrels are always a pleasure. Hot. D -d 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 Damn. All right. Now we need to rest. Yeah, we need to rest. We need to rest, change out our pawns, and then I need to go over to Mel. Trade towns can make you right sick of crap. We must rest. Though the suck. I need to head over to Melv so I, I can hopefully find the first place I found a Seeker token and then bring it back to the Sphinx. Your pawn has returned from beyond the rift. Okay. Earn pawn badge. Acquire item. Ooh, I can have... Oh, of course. Wait. Request for other player. Reward for other player. I'm confused. Set upon request. Set upon quest and request another online player to assist for a reward. So I can give them money... Item. I can give them items and shit for hiring my pawn. Okay. That's kind of cool. But, like, why would I do that? I can give them the courtly tunic. I don't really have anything that I, that I think is worth giving. Or anything that I'm willing to part with? You know what? We got extra griffin pinions. There's your reward. Three griffin pinions. And their request is to... Hmm. Acquire item. So, does that mean I get it if they give it to them? I don't know how this works. I'm going to be a real dick. To this world I return. Ready to no one is going to do that. Tomorrow, everyone. Come, we have much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? Straight up, nobody's going to do that. I kind of feel bad for, for putting that in there. All right. Time to dismiss these old pawns. Shadowheart. Hold, hold, hold fucking still. Jesus Christ. You can count on me to fly I'm losing to your mind. Uh, cancel the gift. Yes. Tis a pity we must part after sharing. All right. I Andrew. I'm you've done to... you've done great fucking work. At least I go knowing I fought. Excellent work, my dude. But 
We need to trade you up. All right, now I'm the warrior. Honestly, could probably use another mage. But a regular one. What about you, May? Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. You'll be safe in my care, Arisen. What you got? What you got? What you really, really got? Flagration, Lightning Affinity, Frigor, High Empyrean. Nah. On quest, defeat a Minotaur, reward Winter's Path. Yeah, I'm going to skip on that. Edgelord. What about you, Geku? My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. What do you got? Anodyne Argent Sakor. What what is that? No, not I do not want to view the fucking profile. That is not what I meant to do. Gradually recover continue to recover health for a period of time. Hmm. And High Imperium, High Palladium. You know what? Sure. Welcome well, aboard. Then... Welcome aboard. Now, who do we want for the next one? I, I guess we could actually get a ranged person for once. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. Delighted yeah, fuck to it. meet you. Especially if we share a sweet tooth. Did I inadvertently hire all women again? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. And I am troubling rumor has reached my ears. And I am giant I compared to them. It is said there is an illness fools can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the arisen's commands. How terrible. This ox heart's bound for Vernworth. Excellent. I need to see some coin before I let you on. It's like my last. I think I've got two hundred more dollars after this. What the? At least I have my guy. All right, let's doze off. Let's go to Burnworth. Burnworth. Nice. Okay. Now that we've done that, we need to head over to... Good God, it's so far away. <laughs> Maybe we can catch another ride. This fast road to 199. Yon shore in particular. One day, when we're well prepared... No, where's, where's my... Where's my hop jump? Where's my hop jump? This is an unforgivable offense. To all of warrior kind. Disgusting. You sicken me, developers. A treasure chest. Shall we see if that hurts my very soul that I can't hop around like a psychotic pogo stick, murdering everything. Okay, so we need to go to Merle, and I don't want to run there. That's, that's got to be where I found my first secret coin, right? I really hope. This ox cart's bound for Mel. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I have 100 money units left. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Excellent find. I didn't find anything. Were you congratulating yourself for finding a ladder? I'll sleep like a log tonight. All right, are we gonna get waylaid? Waylaid? Some battles simply. Yes. Fine. Out of the car. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that bin go to 
Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, but she found that ladder really well, I know, right? Going up. Dude, stop doing that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the fucking drop kick. Fucking Klim Hazard? Boom! Dude, that fucking rocks! I didn't know I could charge that. Hey, where do you think you're going, motherfucker? I could make that shot. Go right ahead. I saved your cart, and you're gonna fucking ditch me? Dude, they added more charge attacks. What the fuck? Logistician? What just happened? Why did I just get a bunch of shit? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Reminds me of Donkey, actually. Finding the ladder really well. I'm a master of these stairs. I'm the stay of master. Donkey from Shrek. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I should say. A game of wits. Okay, so I've got like four days left to find where I found my first seeker token. Also, I want to practice with my moves a little bit. So let's go outside of town. So it's a bumpy ride, but we've arrived all the same. Mayhap we can employ my curative magics are at your disposal. So Kitsu we'll can't heal us anymore. So we're gonna need to get a heal boy, a heal sucker, all the time. Okay. So we got swing. Swing. That is so fucking slow it's unreal. Barge appears to be. There are useful ingredients to be gave. Does it say what any of this shit actually does? Okay, so mighty sweep. Sweeps in horizontal, holding the activation button turns the attack into a charge slash and makes the user less likely to defend. So everything charges. Got it. Mighty downward strike follows up with a powerful successor if it connects with a foe who has been knocked off balance. Got it. So you don't just want to use this fresh out the gate. Yeah, that's your finishing blow. Where you fucking yeet them. Barge rushes forward, tackling target. Though limited in range, it can force the target to flinch. User is less likely to flinch while it's active, so it does not have iframes of any kind. And bulwark reduces damage taken from hostile targets during a charge attack. Skyward Sunder. Yeah. Jump and slash this upward simultaneously. Oh my god, you have to yeet them. Oh, that's the plan. Absolutely. Can be charged prior to unleashing. And rending sweep can also be charged. Well, master, I hope you like it. I found it myself. <laughs> Spin to win, baby. Though so this one. That is so fucking cool i can't it it brings a tear to I'll my eye conserve my strength how about Any you fuck off 
Good God. You know what? No, not you. Not you. Not you, sweetheart. You. Into the drink. Go fuck yourself. Get taken by the bro. You interrupt me, you go in the drink. That's how it works. <laughs> That's so unfair. <laughs> so somewhere around here, she died. <laughs> yeah, she did. The brine took her. It's fine. They're pawns. They come back. Oh, there's something written here. Let's You're... have a look then. Winter's going to be real annoying, isn't she? <laughs> oh, let's take a look here. So somewhere around here is where I found my first seeker token. And we need that, whatever item that is, to answer the Sphinx's riddle. Or rather, we just got to bring it back to the Sphinx. Oh, ho! Hello, dear traveler! Hello? What is this? Five copper ore. That's not what I was supposed to find, right? Five copper ore? <laughs> I don't know if that's where I found my first seeker token. <laughs> I'm not going back with five copper ore. Okay, and this is the ballista. I do feel fairly confident. Like, I, I was traveling around. I pushed Kitsu off of here by accident, and it was legitimately an accident. Where she went down, I think, for the first time. I'm trying to retrace my mental steps. I found the chest, but I don't remember finding a Seeker's token. How many Seeker's token did I have to turn in the first time I got to Vernworth? Should Let be my be question. Remember, Blista's a ranged weapon. It sure is. I mean, how else would we have known that? The funny thing is, it, the only person who could benefit from that knowledge is a child. And the children should not be playing this game. <laughs> who the fuck doesn't know what a ballista is? Or ballista. Depends how you, you want to pronounce it. The actual spelling has an A and an E at the end of it. But who knows how they used to pronounce it in olden times. I have no fucking clue. I don't know. I don't know where that Seeker's token would be. Uh, I've only found... You know what the sad thing is? I've only found seven of them, too. It's not like I've found an uncountable huge amount. I just was not paying attention because I, I figured that was going to be the end of the transaction, you know? It was going to be, hey, you found a Seeker's token, and now you don't have to think about it anymore. And I was fucking wrong. No, Wait! Didn't I find something in one of these decrepit houses? The problem is, I remember finding things in different places, but I don't remember when I found Seeker tokens. Because I wasn't committing it to fucking memory. Damn it. I think I'm just going to fail this one. Either that or it's look up all the Seeker's tokens in the game and cross-reference them with the ones I've most likely gotten. The problem is, I did just kind of start fucking wandering. I mean, my I'm barely into the main quest, and I have explored a huge swath of land, and oh my... Okay. Thank God. Well, not so much thank God. I, I, I want the world to be huge. But I, I've explored a not insignificant amount of area. Man, I just have no clue. But I am. That is going to be... Oh my God, the map is huge. It is fucking huge. 
that is going to do it for me for today. I am going to continue playing, but I'm going to continue playing casually. Uh, and also, I need to take a piss and I need to eat and all that crap. So, thanks guys for <laughs> coming and hanging out with me. Listen, uh, listen to me do dumb shit. Uh, I will be back on tomorrow. I'm going to keep on, you know, collecting the footage and such. I think, I think I'll go off cam tomorrow too. Mostly just because it's just easier for me sometimes. Maybe if we get more peeps in, I'll bring, bring the camera back in and make it a regular thing. But in the meantime, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your night. And if I don't see you tomorrow, have an excellent rest of your weekend. An excellent... Oh, right. It's Friday. Have an excellent Saturday. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. <laughs> this is the point. Peace out, guys. Have a great one. Hope you enjoy the game.